All right, we're starting our first match. These are best of threes. I am in the toaster bracket. Oh, default, but switching the cooler rain over for a bob. That's a nice set. All right, again, some arm damage. Come here. No, not not that here. That here. Uh, if Malib gets beaten by Astro, I'm actually gonna be cheering on. There's a lot of people I'll be cheering on. Uh, I will actually, I will be cheering for Astro. He is a teammate. Uh, he. There are bumps, but we are friends. And also, if we're going off of personal preferences and stuff, uh, there are people in this tournament that I'd much rather not win. Astro is definitely much higher on that list of players that I would be fine with. Good luck, H! Yes, I can see that. They are doing very double punch. Alright. I'm gonna have to... Ch We're gonna save this for my match with Astro if I get to that. We are going to chug the entire thing to get concentrated in essence of... Pass water. We will need all of the test energy we could get. To be able to take him on. Wait, Penzo! Start this one off. We're starting off this one much stronger. Much stronger. Let's get the perfect. And we're gonna get our first perfect. Chico, I believe in you. But I do want to beat you. We're gonna use this rush when they use theirs. Go ham now. No. Alright, we got it.
All right. So I got that one, and I got that one. We're going to move on with the bracket. And I've got my next foe. Oh, they've got fancy. Are you finding matches on the tournament? I have found one match, and I played against a a, a, a good Kid Cobra. It was a good Kid Cobra. Kid Cobra is hot. Uh, they went Bub and Slamamander for most of the matches, and it was good. It was enjoyable. Okay, blanking out the overlay again. go. I think we're friends now. Mechanica! Let's go! Pop it back open. You see the lobby again. It's back to life. Yeah, once we start getting to the top players, they're going to be a lot more re recognizable. Hey, Chateau! No, that's for good evening. Hi! Uh, for anybody interested, I'm just going to give a quick shout out to Chateau. He was, and I'd still say is, a top Japan player. I uh, plays Dr. Coil to a terrifying degree and is also a streamer. Uh, I would recommend sending them a nice follow. Nope. Oh. There you go. There's a link to their ch Twitch channel. Just follow that. Chateau is 75th right now on the dashboard. Nice. A uh, piggy bank. Shoutouts to them. They're a YouTube streamer. I uh, might be streaming this tournament as well. Oh, yo, we got double nibbles on the field. Let's go. We got a nibbles tamer. Everybody, every. We need a, we need a nibbles emo in this channel. We we need a scorpion so we can get hyped for this. I'm double punching in a way that's countering out what Jacques is doing right now. So we are going to be looking for one more perfect. No, I will not get nibbled. <laughs> There we go. Oh, Alright, we might not get a double perfect. Nade and Cooler can be a little trickier to dodge around. 
We're gonna start off pretty strong. Again, holding the rush as a safe countermeasure to Jox. Oh no, the perfect! Alright, we're just gonna go ham here. I want a double perfect. Let me get the double perfect. I just, I just want, want perfects. Uh, just a reminder for any, or for anybody interested, we do have some Franker Face Z emotes. You can post those in chat if you want. Uh, those are extra boxes I don't need. <laughs> so you have chosen death. <laughs> Let's dive right back in. Sticking with that loadout. I'm gonna I'm gonna switch over to the whammer this time. Double noobles enters the field again. There. How do you like this? I'm not double punching. No double punches. Just single punch. Oh my perfect! does not guarantee perfects. Let's do this. You know, let's do it. Let's do it. <laughs> Oppression. The loadout. We're gonna have many squeaky noises. All the defensive options are mine to control! Nothing shall touch me! That's the announcement, so everything should be good. Alright, let's move on to the next bracket. Next round.
Alright. So I'm just gonna do this just to make sure that we get Piggy's friend code. Oh, I, I searched it bad. Oh. Two. No. Regardless, uh, they have sent me a friend request. Back in this, that's working out very efficiently. Yeah, I'm streaming my run, and then once I get kicked out by Astro, uh, I'm going to be doing commentary with Hama in the top eight. Well, you had a couple of cool tricks and cool strategies. Uh, the big downside for you is just I have a very solid defensive loadout that's well tailored to paring down things in general. Oh, I'm gonna have to join there, so we'll do that then. Just do that. So, Van Coyle, yes, you're in the middle of the ocean. Excellent. But yeah, no, Jock, you did, you did good. I have a very well tailored loadout for fighting back against a lot of what strategies you had available. It just worked out well for me. Alright, so this is probably going to be my first potentially difficult matchup. Because we've got Mechanica's weakness on the field!
Green men are always scary for me. Because they just have... They have two of my, the things that I do not enjoy. Deflect, and they also have... Usually toasters. Both of which are things that I've never been great at. Good rush there. Hotel Bones, thank you for the follow. I will let him know. There we go. Had a bot in your first match and won the first bracket, so scared. You'll do great, Hotel! I believe in you. Let's, let's toss, let's cancel the negativity that is currently going in chat. Please, loves. Keep this fight going. Let's try this out. We'll just cover a lot of his movement better. And it means we have one of my favorite things, which we're just about at. Shield Breaker! Piggy Bank is pretty solid. Uh, there's $25 worth of eShop points for people who make top 8. That's about the money that is available here, is Nintendo. No! You do not take it! I am not putting coins into that bag. I just want to get that charge away from him, and then oppress. That'll do near full damage because of that shield break. Patiently, I'm fine with that. I am fine waiting things out if it means I get out unscathed. If I get a perfect next match, I'll give it a shot. I'll give it a shot. No promises for you, love, but I'll give it a shot. Adam, Bunny, and Twin are in your break? I'm so sorry, Gilly. <laughs> HHS? <laughs> Alright. Let's 
see, where am I in the toaster? I am- oh god, no! Jiko, I'm supposed to perfect you! Yeah, that's- oh, god, that's not happening. I'll try! I'm gonna take this moment to use the washroom because I have consumed way too many beverages. Does twin stream? Uh, twin to five O does not stream, no. All right, I'm gonna mute, be right back. Washroom is in use, there is a shower active right now. So I'm not going to use the washroom. Gilly, I'm gonna actually be honest. I, uh, I wouldn't be surprised. I would actually be. It wouldn't be too out of this world to see you beat him. You throw your first game, and they gave you Adam Bomb, Adam Brain second game. Oof. How's it going so far? Uh, I am currently in round four. I have claimed a handful of perfects, and now I am waiting for either Jiko, who's probably gonna be my opponent knowing Jiko, or where did, where are we? Jiko or TC, who's also been doing pretty solid from what it looks like. Play with my feet? No. How do I view brackets? I can drop you a link! Here. There's a link. An agate. Yeah, sometimes you get placed in that spot. You get into that position where it's like I'm I'm kind of in that place too where it's like I'm I'm gen I generally see myself as a wall for like top player to dude where if you can beat me, you're definitely a top tier player. Uh but like but if you're not like a genuinely top top tier player, which if you are, I'm probably going to struggle with you against you a lot. If you're not that, I'm probably going to- it's either going to be in my favor or I'm going to sweep ya. Also, uh, thank you to all 46 of you who are hanging out and chilling. How many rounds do you have to win in order to get into top 8? I have to be Astro! who is currently slated as the top arms player of North America. Uh, there are players out there who can contest with him, but he's, out of the active players, he's been consistently holding the top. Best of three games, that is correct. Best of three single elimination. So like it's rough, but it's also like reasonable. Oh wow, the Jiko match is going on a while. Could you not harass that individual, please? These I told they're 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 behaving right now. Please, 
Don't bully. No bullying. Both both of you stop. Just Cosmo, please stop. I will time you out. You do not want to make me time you out. They're behaving they weren't, but they are now, so it's okay. Cosmo, please respect the other individuals who are in this chat. Uh, gods, it's still going on. I wonder if they had to use the washroom. Kid Cobra is hot, yes. I I am yes crashing. Ooh, cats in this bracket? Nice. Uh, while we are waiting, I'm just going to make a reminder. That if you're looking for more ARMS events to participate in, uh, especially before the free trial pre period, there's a link to an event that I'm going to be organizing this Monday. Uh, if you'd like to participate, if you'd like to compete, play some more ARMS. It'll be a good time. It is 3 p.m. Mountain Time, open to anybody across the world. What am I drinking? I am drinking water, lemon juice, that also contains the pure, the pure power of TAS water. We've got some TAS water in here. And I've also got TAS water nice and ready to consume for when I get to... Uh, actually, I am going to one more, more difficult matches. Should I just... Should I drink one? What is... What has happened? Oh, Jiko's got the first point. Oh, here we go, here we go. Jiko got it. water is cheating it's legal there's no rule that says I can't drink TAS water watch me I just drank some TAS water what are you going to do it's the TAS water yes <laughs> it's the two assisted speed running water it, it gives me the power it gives me the energy <laughs> I can't even talk about it with a straight face <laughs> Alright, we'll drink a little bit more. Alright, stages are ready. I guess the challenge to try to get one perfect. Just need one perfect. Alright, mausoleum is not a bad stage to work for a perfect. Jiko is a bad person to do that for, but Mausoleum is not. Did 
There goes that perfect. Now, now it's just trying to survive. Because it is Jiko. We want to hold on to this rush. We want to force Jiko to pop his. Didn't get to get the rush out. Cosmo, sometimes I'm not gonna be able- There's a lot of chat going on. I'm not gonna be able to respond to all of it. Please stop getting angry in chat. There goes that perfect. I'm sorry, I can't- This is Jiko we're talking about. I can't perfect the man. He's too good at neutral. He's too beautiful. I can't perfect someone this beautiful. I love Jiko. Jiko's my friend. I will take the round though. One more shot. Well, two more, two or three shots. I could throw much. <laughs> oh gods, I'm not getting the perfects. If it's not a perfect, why bother? <laughs> Gods, Jiko, please. I need, I need the $10. I need the $10. No! Another, okay, he's gonna get the snipe out of that. He's got rush advantage. And unless I punish it, or get my rush up... <gasps> we have a chance! No! Jiko. I need my $10. Please- No! <laughs> I could lose this round. And that's currently very, very possible. More possible now.
Oh god, yeah, that wasn't gonna work. Oh, Funchuck, you failed me! Chico! This ten dollars is- No! Shield chip! No chips! Ouch, fat- This obsession with the ten dollars is gonna destroy me. Nice air. We'll survive. You're both getting timed out. Ten minutes. Balfa, let me go back. Wait, am I not? No! <laughs> Brady, thank you for the follow. Hotel Bones, thank you for the follow. I am on the round that I lose. I'll be right back. I need to go pee before I chug Tass water. Washroom's still in use. Guess it's time to chug Tass water so that I have full energy against Astro. <sighs> I, I'm ready to lose. My next opponent's Astro Ninja. I am not gonna stand a chance, but we're gonna give it our best. And my best loadout was... All right. No, I can't. I mean, it is possible. It's very unlikely. It would be ungodly difficult, but it's possible. Just, a, just a reminder too. If you all wanna enter my tournament, arms will be had. Lots of fun. More. More fun will be continue to be had. Uh, to just let you all have a heads up too. If I get knocked out, uh, while I will be sad, uh, that means that I will be commentating for the rest of the bracket. 
so so we're, we're on a double you can do it Gilly I believe in you you can do it but yeah I'm gonna be commentating so if if you see me get trounced trampled on stepped all over and died like promptly and quickly uh fret not there will be more streams to be had as I will be commentating the rest of this bracket and then at least a little bit of top eight before I move things over to the casual arms crew who whomst will be streaming the rest of the tournament. Need to make the DK rap, but it's the CA rap. That would be cool. Keep disconnecting until you win. No, no, I'm not that kind of girl. All right, I'm gonna go see if the washroom's open now. It's not open. I'm just gonna give up on that for like at least another 30 minutes rather than like constantly hover around Astro what's taking so long what are you doing just kill me You lost a cereal? That's pretty rough. She already went into commentator- What do you mean? Well, no, yeah, there is a different tone to them both. But yeah, I'll be commentating, like, after I get my butt handed to me by Astro. Or I have a close match with Astro and he still moves on. So don't- don't stress too hard. You're out. You did good, Adam. Good job. Everybody clap for Adam Brain. Uh, if anybody's interested, he's also a he's a very proficient and talented twin tail player in the arms community. Actually, is currently in the top eight PR bracket and will be competing in an Invitational, which will be coming up later. Uh, like later, I mean like two weeks. I'm gonna be in there too. Also, Gilly. Lots of these people in ch chat. We have a lot of top level players. We've got a lot of new players. Uh, thank you all for dropping by. Heart. Hugs. I'm gonna spam hugs for you all. Just a reminder that I do love all of you. There you go. Have some hugs. Is Astro ready yet? No. No, I'm still waiting on my next opponent. This is... This is scary. Well, it's not scary, but I know what's gonna happen. Uh, Jiko was good. I didn't get the perfects that I was challenged to get. And now I'm definitely not getting the perfects! <laughs> oh yeah, uh, for anybody interested too, uh, this channel does have viewer currency, scrapbucks. Uh, if you watch... 
If you gather enough of them, you can redeem them for various fun things, such as the Kirby Squish. Where's my Kirby? Here's Kirby. You want to see Kirby get Squish? I will Squish Kirby for you. 180 scrap bucks. Uh, I don't... Bra Brady? I very rarely get these viewers. I never get these kinds of viewers. Uh, the only time that I got close to this was when I streamed another major tournament, the quarterly report. Uh, otherwise, usually if I'm getting good numbers, it's like 20. Which is still good, but like, my, my stuff is generally low viewer content. Oh, they've, they've redeemed. So we're gonna have Kirby. Here, just get this ready so I can see exactly. We've got Kirby. I'm gonna squish the Poyo. And now we get to watch Kirby unsquish. And there you have it. One squished Poyo. Kirby is okay. Uh, while we are waiting, uh, general coverage, I'll, I might as well introduce myself as I don't think, I don't have any weird snacks. Not this time, I'll have to put that on sleep mode because I don't have any good weird snacks. But, uh, just to talk about myself for a little bit, I am a content creator on Twitch. I am a transgender female content creator, so uh, anybody who has those issues, just no, uh, I generally speed. Uh, most of my, I generally, I'm a variety streamer. I tend to cover a lot of things. Arms is the biggest thing that I stream. I run events every now and then. Uh, I, I've run big stuff. I run little stuff. I've got numbers all over the place. Uh, currently standing on Twitch, I'm generally the most active arm streamer, though I haven't streamed it as much lately, I might pick it back up and get into things again for a little while. We'll see how things go. Uh, beyond that, you can look forward to generally Switch content, games on the Nintendo Switch. Right now, I am playing One Step From Eden, Animal Crossing New Horizons. Uh, I do do I do speedrun Celeste any percent from time to time. Uh, I have a time that is below 45 minutes. I've also speedrun ARMS, don't do that. I mean, you can if you want, but it's so much variance. I do have a playthrough for Dragon Quest that I'm currently going through. Uh, we'll see how that goes, because just recent events have prevented me from having time to do a lot of these things. Um, yeah. Trans girl who is prominent in the arms scene, who plays lots of other games generally child friendly there are cases there aren't on my world of warcraft streams aren't do have a little more inappropriate language to them but beyond that like usually i'm somebody who tries to keep it child friendly keep it safe uh so if anybody doesn't like angry curse words this is a curse word free environment from at least from what i'm saying to you You get a consistent nine. I there's a lot of cases where I do not even get nine viewers. I uh, usually I'll get anything from like five to maybe twelve viewers. So like I do have a little bit of experience with bigger groups, but for the most part, I'm my stuff is very small. Granted, I am an armed streamer, and for a while, that didn't really have much things going for it, but it's okay. It's basically Celeste. Maybe? But I'm currently, like, I've got my arms full with a lot of things right now. I don't think I have the time to look into more. Your arms run just got uh, short. You lost. You did good, Josh! That was before the resurgence of arms. Now my, like, my arms events get a big boost, but like everything else is still very low. None of my stuff really changed. Glad to have found this one. Well, I'm glad to have found you, love. 
I do do Splatoon. I do do I I I do a lot of variety stuff. Uh, I'm just talking about myself right now, Josh. I do a lot of things, but generally, like core stuff that you can look forward to, arms at least once every while, uh, Celeste every once in a while. I go back to Celeste a lot. Animal Crossing. I don't know. This is honestly the most consistent thing I stream is WoW, but that's also because I'm in a guild and I raid with them. Uh, if anybody does have any questions, want to just continue this conversation while we wait. Actually, while we're waiting for Astro, why not? Why not see if there's somebody in ranked? There is! We've got Table. Uh, Table is a Helix player in the arms scene. I think he uses Guardian. Yeah, there's a Guardian. We're probably gonna see it since he's got a Tribal and a Scorpid on the other side. Which means that my armor is gonna protect me from the bolts, but the Guardian can still be a little threatening if I'm not... If I'm... If I'm too arrogant. Just... <laughs> we'll just start with the way. Pineapple grab. We'll throw out a second one as... As Tables try to warm up to the matchup. We're trying to warm up to the fact that he's in a lobby playing somebody. No! Oh god, that was a terrible place. I was hope I thought I'd be over, I wasn't. No, you stayed down. Get hot slapped. Yeah, we'll put the we'll put the slaps away. It's not catching him nearly as much as I'd like. get caught. All right. Yeah. Just take the round there. We'll get we'll get a point. We'll get one point while we wait for Astro. He does have rush advantage, so that said he had a rush advantage before.
let's get this pressure rolling. There we go. Shantae is a really good player. Shantae is solid. Don't get too upset if you lost to her. What is going on with Astro? They still haven't started or something. I don't know what's going on. buying the game for sure yay uh def if you're interested i do have an event coming up this monday uh if you're looking for more chances to play arms it'll be a great place for me to just or it'll be a great place for you to start meeting a lot more of the core of the community too and then from there you could start participating in a lot of other events you are all welcome and fully invited Swear to the gods, where is Astro? What is he doing? What he do? Where he go? It's been like 15 minutes. I'd go into party crash, but I'd want to. I'd rather not change my tempo up with Spring or Ribbon Girl. So I'm just gonna wait and rank. There we go. Oh, it's False King! What if Astro DQs? Maybe. Oh, hey, I just realized the loadout I'm going in with right now is like my first core loadout. Yeah, I've never, ch I haven't changed a bit. My playstyle is still the same junk, but I love it so much. Whammer might have been good. Haha, <laughs> just kidding. Unless. If he doesn't, I have a queen run to top 8. punished for it. I'm just gonna contact somebody and get them to check up on that one because yeah it's been a while. They are ready. And it's Astro.
Alright, who's ready to watch me die? Oh! Sick, sick nasty combo. We're just gonna hide the overlay. And Bam. Astro, if you're in chat, say hi. I'm making a call out on my twitter.com Astro the Ninja You are in my chat right now, say hi Feed Astro I mean if he has to eat what I have to eat a Carolina Reaper That's how the rules go. Uh, Brump! I'm just gonna give the offer to you if you're interested. Uh, we are like midway through my Nintendo Switch Online. But if you subscribe to the channel, doesn't matter what tier, and then DM me, I'll help you get set up so that you have Nintendo Switch Online until that runs its course. All right. Let's go. We've got task water in me. Task power. It's not gonna work. You can subscribe later. You don't have to do it right now. Just whenever you do it, let me know. Oh, that's not. Oh! Oh! We reached! <laughs> I knew the timing, I just couldn't. That's right.
Alright, we've definitely lost. If I lost on the stage I have the best chance at, there's no way I'm winning on the stage I'm worst chance at. Let's keep pushing though. Everyone, give me your energy! Yeah, this stage is so much worse with this matchup. <laughs> I told you I could do it. Yeah, he's not even gonna let up that time. He's learned his lesson. He knows who he's dealing with. God, it's too much elevation. Well, I got my... I got my clip, I'm fine! <laughs> I got four levels out of that though, so I'm happy. I'll take it. I'll take it. That was good. Oh, that was so good. Let's move over to this now. that Astro will be moving on to, oh it doesn't say, so that's one, two, three, oh wait, yep, yeah, round five, no, round six, Astro's on winner's round six. So I'm, I'm out of the tournament, but that does not mean that we are done with this game. No, my loves, we are still very thick and deep in the heart of things. Astro may have taken me out 2-0, but now I'll, why don't we follow Astro 
spend his time through the bracket. So, oh, he wants to go another round while we wait. I'm fine with this. I am super fine with this. Uh, bap, bap. We're just sparring. Drop the shield out there. Oh, that yeah. not gonna work. This is no bueno at that range. Oh, bother. Oh, bother. See, now I'm gonna get perfected. Well, there we go. Chip damage. I think the washrooms. I'm gonna think the washrooms open. So I'll be right back. All right, I am back, and I do have powers set up nice and ready. So I'm gonna try to get that stuff set up. 
I've got Astro already ready in here. Oh! We're just gonna do that. And we're gonna dive into the next bracket match. Alright, so I'm gonna avoid comment communicating it there until Astro's got things ready. So just waiting for Astro to create a lobby. get things quickly set up. Where did he go? Need to get that ready. Where is Astro? Lobby, please. I don't know, CFA. Oof. Casual radio griff. East throw. There. We got the commentator in the lobby. And I'm gonna quickly set things up for the next match. There's this one, and then, there. Alright, so we've got Astro Ninja, we've got Corn. these two players are going to quickly dive in and we will be getting our bout. Wait, is this Akio? Ah, no, it's Corn. It's Corn. Definitely, just, it's just Corn. So we're gonna go with that. Uh, move over to this. While I'm adding in this. Apologies for the flurry of smashing and getting everything set up. We're just... Bam! All right, we are ready and we have begun our call. We have moved over to commentary. Astro Ninja will be facing off against Korn. Going in, Korn going in with the Sparky Slap Amender. Two very base and solid arms for Ribbon Girl. Astro going in with the double, with the nade roaster. Looking to just have a solid variety of pressure and damage. The explosion from that nade, coupled up with the speed and power of that roaster can make it a very devastating combo. Even more so with Dr. Coil having the capabilities of charging up that third arm and being able to utilize that starting off. Astro going to be able to take the first point with a well-timed rush, getting some good damage, and setting up control of the field. Korn going to be changing things up, putting that slap commander right back onto the stage. And he's gonna actually choose to keep that Hopper away, not looking to utilize it just yet. Hopper can be a very solid tool for this matchup, but it can be really difficult to utilize, especially when your opponent, not only is Dr. Coil, who is a difficult target to catch, but is also utilizing two medium weight arms, which means that it's much easier for the Hopper to get punched down. 
while it, it while uncharged it is two projectiles, charged popper turns into one, which lots of lots of coils, especially when they have double gloves, they can have a pretty easy time bunch punching through that. Especially if you're not careful or well equipped for the scenario. This round looking very similar to the last one right now, as Korn struggling to keep up with this matchup. And is struggling to find a chance to get some damage finally. Get some chip damage with the rush, but that's going to be very, very little. And Astro going to be able to claim that first point, setting up tempo and lead, and meaning that Corn's going to have a little bit more difficult of a hill to climb. Yeah, of course. Uh, talking, we'll talk about Corn a little bit, as many of you might not know the history of them, but they are a longtime player of these arms games. Uh, were part of a crew way back in the day known as Fellows in Arms, one of the largest and most prominent crews that the arms community had, and probably the closest out of any of them to really being able to develop into a team back in the day. These days we do have Riptide, who definitely is actually making some good progress and might be able to reach that too. And then, of course, the official team, Illusion, that which I and Astro Ninja are both a part of. Uh, Shoutouts to Dave, what, one of the organizers and team leaders of that group. Everybody give Dave some love. Who... Are, yeah, those are the two main groups for arms these days if you're looking to like join a group Heading into this match though Accio definitely or Korn a very solid ribbon girl player right now struggling to keep up against Astro's pressure and just bombardment it in tasks from these gloves has Korn at critical health right now do not take much more than one or two hits a good grab or a rush could easily seal this deal as well. Corn ready with a rush of their own. Str needs to find some kind of confirm though to be able to set this tempo and the charge made is going to be the KO. Dynamite. Looks like... I, I like this loadout. Corn's making a good choice. This is really risky because they have to focus entirely on a base of movement. That slap commander... It being a medium weight can help in paring down a couple of arms here and there, but for the most part, that curve is just going to mean that it's going to be a reaching around in a lot of cases. The popper just cannot contend with those two gloves, so Korn really needs to be on top of their movement, making sure that they are making the right calls and plays to slip out of Astro's barrage of blasts and just dominating pressure. So far, though, we're not seeing much of that as Korn takes yet another roaster and again, dipping below 50% health. Currently, just one hit away from being knocked into KO range. And Astro going to be able to con confirm that with a successful grab, recognizing that Korn's hesitation. Not going to go for the confirm there with the rush. But at this point, Astro doesn't really need much of anything and is going to be able to take the set down 2 0 and will be advancing to. Uh, the qualifying pools for top eight in round seven. out of that one I'm gonna move over to the next bracket just make sure that I am sticking with Astro here 
That one is currently set to be streamed. <gasps> oh! Oh, we've got another one that might be a treat. I can probably catch this one. Because it doesn't look like it started yet. Uh, let me catch Beam somewhere. Alright, let me see if I can catch them. Uh, let me do this. Let me see if they are my friends. I'm gonna have to send them a friend code. So that means that we are going to do the Vanish again. For anybody who does not know Beamer, you are going to be in for a treat. This is a Spring Man main. A very proficient one and is also excellent at keeping their players at bay and pressuring them with toasters and seekies. So I'll keep an eye on that. Uh, hi, at Shards. Uh, yeah, I got knocked out of bracket. Astro took me down. You're up against Twin 5 -0. Wait, Wait, how, how's your climb been going, Gilly? Good luck against Twin! Oh. Uh, hello to everybody joining my Discord. Thank you all for dropping by. Uh... Miss Dino Corn, thank you for the follow way back in the several times ago. And yeah, we should just be waiting on things as it stands. Let's see how the other match is going, if they're waiting or not. Because if they're just chilling right now, I might be able to snipe yet another one. Oh, no, we are good. Yo! Endman versus Beamer. This is gonna be hype. This is Pogger's and chat worthy. That's terrible that I said that. Alright, just looking for the lobby. And then we will be set to go. Apologies on the invisibility. I can join in through Endman too. Where is it? I'm just, just looking. Please, there it is. Please tell me they haven't started yet. Nice, we got it. All right, so this is Beamer's channel, so, or group. So I'm just gonna set this up. So we're back down to six. Beamer against Endman. Endman being a very prominent Min Min main from the STL community. And Beamer, of course, being that Spring Man monstrosity 
We're diving in, starting off with Temple Grounds. And ooh, I like Edman's loadout. Ice Dragon, Nade, Chakram. Definitely some good coverage there. Lots of solid pressure options. Beamer going in with the toaster, Seeky, and Cooler Rain. It looks like they are going to start out with the Cooler Rain right and ready. Quickly diving into the fray. And man, holding that higher ground of Temple Grounds means that he's going to start off with a light advantage, a little bit more coverage, but he's going to quickly back off, trying to find some space to get that Dragon Arm charged up so that he can get, have a lot more room to be able to play and more effectively pressure. Beamer lands the grab, gonna go follow up with a grab confirm, balancing out that health pool. But we do get a freeze on Beamer, which means Endman now has Dragon Arm charged up. That nade is a giant monstrosity. And followed up with the Ice Dragon means he's gonna be able to score 240 damage. Min Min being a very interesting character in the fact that if she get if she is allowed at least one second to hold her her charge, she's able to charge up her dragon arm along with that, and that increases the girth size of that arm from one to its highest level, which is five. That also means that it goes into a permanently charged state, which is incredibly potent, which is very effective. And a nice catch there, Endman! Playing things out perfectly and just waiting, forcing Beamer to throw out the rush, and is going to be able to safely punish with a well-timed nade explosion. Beamer trying to play a zoning game, trying to keep distance and find one confirm. We are going to get the Chilla to hit, and a grab connection to be able to turn this around, and Beamer securing that first point. Just a reminder to everybody too, don't forget, if you see a hype moment, make a clip. Clips are cool. Diving right into our next round, both players going to be sticking with their loadouts, neither looking to try to change too dramatically at all. And man, going to be get able to start off with the first hit, but Beamer not too far behind, susceptible to that rush though, and Endman gets 300 damage and finds enough time to get that Dragon Arm charged up, looking to try to hold on to it for as long as possible. While Min Min does get that huge advantage from getting that Dragon Arm charged up, having that bigger girth, she does have the weakness where if she gets frozen, if that arm gets damaged at all, shock happens, or Min Min gets knocked down, she does end up losing that Dragon Arm and has to regain it all over again. So you're going to see right there, frozen, no Dragon Arm. Well time to Black Kick though is going to give her a little bit of space. And Endman still going very strong on this round. That first one working out really well for Beamer. But Endman currently just holding the field and is keeping this tempo, keeping up these one twos, and is going to balance out the score. Both players looking like they're going to be sticking with their loadouts. Definitely have had good results already against each other. They're looking to try to just continue with that pressure. Both ready with rush. I don't... Yeah, I could see a change in loadout potentially helping, especially since Beamer is being forced to play at range so much. But the cool rains are very rewarding when he gets a good freeze chain. Unfortunately, Edmund is just starting to warm up on what exactly Beamer is looking to do and has broken out of a couple of them. Seeking might be a little bit safer of an alternative as we're getting deeper into this. And I'm currently struggling to find room to breathe as Beamer just keeping him locked in the corner, just keeping a steady tempo of pressure with the toaster, with the cooler rank. And he's getting forced to back as Edman slowly gaining more and more ground. He's gonna be setting that high opportunity, lands 310 damage, gets the dragon arm ready, and now Edman back in control for this match and is looking to try to keep this as much as possible for the next 40 seconds. Out comes the rush, but Edman gonna be able to safely dodge aside, brings out a safe block. He's going to be holding on to a light lead. Beamer finally finds that connection, does trade with the Ice Dragon, meaning that Endman still holds on to that lead. But Beamer definitely has a good chance to bring this back as Endman does lack the Dragon Arm. Ends up leaping in the air though, he gets sniped down, ensuring a guaranteed knockdown, giving Endman that time he needs to charge up. Out comes the rush, Beamer a little too focused on that boxing, cannot dodge out in time as he has made too great of an investment. And that's going to secure Endman the first point. Huh? Yeah. 
So yeah, this is probably what you're going to be expecting from here on. More often than not, this is what I do. Lots of commentating, lots of chatting. I will also let you know, you'll look over it on the side, you'll see a few advertisements. Uh, those are talking about other parts of the community, other part portions of the arm scene. Check them out. Lots of cool things going on there. Just do Google searches, follow the Discord links when you see them, and you'll definitely be joining a part of a very wonderful community, especially right now during its heyday, where we have a lot of very wonderful and supportive players hanging out, cheering each other on. We've got Piggy Bank, who's ended his stream, dropping by the stream right now, and is cheering on his man, Beamer. Things off. And then does have that high ground, but he's pushed back against the corner and is struggling to try to find his way out. Beamer holding onto a light lead, just keeping this pressure, making sure that Endman stays pushed back. Oh, you didn't stream? Ah. Yo, you recognize me from the Buzz's stream? Nice. I can't believe I actually got remembered. Poco Yan followed! Are you got to the timers? Beamer doing a fantastic job with this match right now, holding onto a monumental lead. And then finally found a chance to get that dragon on ready. He needs to be able to start getting some really good reads and pokes to be able to bring this back. As we are only 30 seconds left until that timer ticks down. And that is a huge lead in Beamer's control. Nice block. Not going to be able to follow up anything with that freeze chain, though. He's able to get one hit, but Enman still has so much work to go. 15 seconds left on the clock. It's still possible, especially with that. He now just needs to find a chance to get this rush. He thinks he sees it, but Beamer going to dodge out of the way. And this round is Beamer's. He's claiming it, and Enman has nothing to do to bring this back. Thanks for dropping by, everybody, by the way. I do appreciate it. Heading into the next round. Beamer starting off with Rush ready, which means he's got a good advantage, and he's going to try to clap, capitalize on it. But the nade just blasting him right out of there ends up taking that additional light damage. While your Rush Deflect can stop pretty much everything, it does not stop explosions. And actually, in a lot of cases, it positions the explosion directly in your face or right on top of you. Meaning that if you throw out a rush and there's an explosive arm right in your face, you're going to get blown up. Out comes the rush. Beamer going to be able to dodge it. Ends up getting sniped down just long enough for Endman to get that dragon arm ready. And now it's Endman's game. Looking to try to keep this control. Doesn't have the lead right now, but he just needs one good connection. Goes for the grab, and it's going to be able to connect, even with the risk of having that rush deflect break through. Endman just running with this one right now, and is looking for just a couple more hits. Beamer trying to turn things around, has that enraged Springman's comeback kid, meaning that both of his arcs are permanently charged. If either of them connect now, it will be taking away that dragon arm. Endman literally only needs a single hit, and he's going to get the nade. And then currently on match point, looking for one more win to take this. Diving right into our next round. Both players still holding on to their arms. You'll notice this a lot when you get to the end game of arms top players in general. Most players generally figure out a couple, a handful of arms that are very core to them, very much to their identity. You saw it with me, with the nade and Funchuck. You see it right now with Endman running with this nade and Ice Dragon. And generally, players have enough information, data on the matchups, that they know what arms they're looking for and what they want to make work for them. That they're probably going to stick with them. In a couple of cases, you will see slight changes, slight adjustments. A lot of people will make counter picks based on if a certain loadout is a prominent and they might need to respond to it. But generally, once players find their loadout, they're more, most of the adaptation is not coming from their equipment. It's coming from their playstyle and how they're handling this match. We get the freeze. Beamer going to be able to dive in, lands the grab. 
and Endman now in critical. Just a little bit to go before either player does have their rush. Whoever gets this first, there's a high chance that that's going to be the KO though. Endman actually has a shield breaker. He just needs to keep this pressure up. Just throw out the rush and Beamer shield would collapse. But he's going to get an excellent read. Confirms the KO. And we'll be moving on to face off against Astro Ninja. Alright, and with that, Endman successfully taking Beamer out of the bracket, and we now have ourselves. You thought my match with Astro was interesting? Well, you are in for a treat, my friends, as we've got another very exciting match. This is definitely, yet again, another matchup that is likely in Astro's favor, but Endman knows how to make this guy run for his money. And we'll be looking to try to do that. If he's got any chance, this might be his best, as we do have that randomized stage loadout. Uh. Alright, and with that, I think everything is all set and ready. These two just need to say hello. They might not even need to say hello. We might just be diving in too. A very intense bracket. Whoever takes this will be moving on to top eight. When both players are ready, they can step into the ring and we will commence the finals of the toaster brackets. It is random stage right now. We have all these stages open up and Player, the game itself will randomly pick from this available op list of options. It's what Nintendo wanted. We're going to do that because that's the rules. Them's the rules. The rules we follow. Uh, other events do not necessarily follow those rules per se. But you work with Nintendo. Heading into this match, Astro going in with double toasters, and then going in with the Triblast and Roaster. Has that Dragon Arm started up? If there's any stage that can work out for Enman, this is it. If Enman gets Temple, if he gets lead here, that Dragon Arm can really help out, and Astro can really struggle to find his way out from this pressure. But so far, Astro currently holding that lead and is quickly running through. Just quickly pummeling Endman down, but we do finally see that knockdown and Triblast connection, and now we've got a Dragon Arm on the field. This is going to be a little bit harder for Astro, but he does find that one sweet point to throw out the toaster, gets that guaranteed knockdown, and he's going to claim the round. How does stage counterpicking generally work outside of Nintendo rules? I uh, similar to Smash. We've got five base stages. Uh, you do a one-two-one one counter banning uh, process, and then whatever's left is chosen, and players will fight in that stage. And then after that, there's two counter pick stages that are added to the list. You get two bans, and then the disadvantaged player picks from the remainder. That's generally how backroom rules that goes for arms. Though there are slight variations from time to time, as it's a very open community to dabbling and playing around and experimenting, and there's a lot of very solid stages in this game. If you are interested in seeing the bracket, I can just drop you a link like this, and I'll just pull up this right over in chat. You might also see that I myself participated in that bracket. I did not make it to top 8, unfortunately. I blame Astro, but you get where you get. And then going in double roasters right now, holding a lot more evenly with Astro. Getting some serious damage has him in critical health, but he's 
he has so much work to go through still. And this is going to be an easy confirm for Astro taking the first point. It is now on match advantage. Looking for one more win to be able to advance to the top eight. <laughs> I think both players are just going to dive right back in and then quickly readying up and is itching to continue on with this fight. Astro going to quickly oblige. We are going to be seeing ourselves step into the sparring ring. This one, I'm not sure if it's going to, if it is necessarily as good, but this is still a very solid option and can definitely work out for Endman. As Astro cannot back up, he cannot zone out Enman nearly as much as this is such a smaller, more close range arena. It's gonna just mean that there's a little bit more opportunity for Enman to keep this chase up. Starting things off though, that also means Astro is going to be quickly capable and easy to start pressuring Enman, making sure that Dragon Arm does not get charged up, and just allow Astro to hold and control this lead. The double punch going to and then demise as he leaves himself completely exposed to a full barrage black rush. And Edman now in critical health. Astro doing a fantastic job of just planning out when he wants to use his third arm, when he wants to just go for general charge punches and quick taps, getting good reads for those grab opportunities, and is generally just keeping up a healthy dose of mix up mix-ups and tempo pacing to make sure that his opponents continue to struggle to predict what exactly he is planning to do. And I'm gonna change things up. Throws on the Coolerang, putting away one of those roasters, hoping that that little bit of verticality, that extra curve might help out. So far though, Astro safely playing around it, but especially since this is such a short range stage, that means that Astro has a lot less room to be able to dodge out of the way of those cool ranks. As long as he's keeping lead though, as long as he's keeping control, it shouldn't be too much of a challenge though. And we're seeing that right now as Astro holding on to a massive health lead. And it's just looking for a shield break or any good confirm to be able to confirm secure the KO, but ends up whipping the rush. Ends up landing a couple of hits at the final tap. Now just looking for one final touch. Take and then down who is on Magic Pixel. Starting to get a couple of good hits, some light damage. And Astro's starting to lose a lot of control on this match, but he does just need that one final hit, and he's going to be able to secure it. Astro will be one of the players making it to the top 8 bracket and securing himself 2,500 gold points for the Nintendo Switch. Should have been my points. But he beat me up. He's a bully. Everyone's smelly bullies. <laughs> and with that, let's just see. Yeah, that's best of three. Yep, so that means that we gotta go see what top eight looks like now. How many have caught up? Oh wait, they, they've got a... They've got to see the bracket still, so we'll see how that is. Alright, just communicating with the others. I need to get in with Hammer. Which means that I'm gonna be bringing in a friend. Let's get that set up and ready.
Oh, yo! Resolve was able to take the Parabola bracket. Let's let's actually look at some of these brackets and see what our top eight players are. So as we saw there, we've got Astro Ninja. Looks like we've got Goof taking Shantae down 2-1 and we'll be making it to the finals as well. Congratulations. We also have... Uh, that one's currently in amidst. And that is Twin Five O facing off against his opponent. Heading over to the Dragon Pool. We've got Hess awaiting his foe, which is going to be either Lunagavs or Uran. Looking over in the Guardian bracket. We've got. <gasps> we have Griffical! The mythical Griffical! Taking Hanukkah Jamboree. Oh, I love both of them. Why did they have to fight? Griff will be making it to the top eight. Much congrats to him. Heading over to the Hydra bracket. It looks like we've got JM Canada taking Dastardly down 2-0 and advancing. Heading over to a certain individual's favorite. We've got Parabola, which looks like Resolve was able to take Serp out from what it sounds like and will be advancing there. Again, two people I like. We saw Toaster already, which means we've got Tribe last to look at. Last but not least, which is Landfrog versus J Ro. Yo! That means that we've got two very exciting individuals who might be making in. That is going to be prime time for either of them. So yeah, we've got we've got a very solid collection of players. This is gonna be max brass levels of hype. Griff stepped on you. Griff, Griff is an amazing player. I actually live not too far away from him. We're, we're cities, of, we're a city apart. So if it, we weren't in the middle of a pandemic, I could easily just take the bus over. Hello there, Endman. Nice work in the tournament. Congratulations on your placement. He got you too. He got you too. Yeah, we're just chilling right now, waiting for things to get going. So maybe now would be a good moment for me to, while we're just waiting for things to get ready, I don't have to worry about competing anymore. So we're gonna look at some of this stuff. Chat, chat, I'm gonna ask you, since you're all here right now, Who should I play during this party crash? Should I play Spring Man? Or shall I play Ribbon Girl? We will do a five minute poll. You are all welcome to vote right now. Uh, slash vote one if you'd like to see Spring Man make it. Slash vote two if you'd like to see me play Ribbon Girl. Hello Katamashi, thank you for the raid. Uh, for anybody who is unaware, Tamashi is also an arm streamer and commentator. Go give her some love. She also does a lot of other things. She also deserves lots of love. Lots of hug. Lots of hugs. Alright, so we got the poll up and running. Uh, you can also make an additional vote. 
if you want to redeem some scrap bucks, so feel free to vote. Utilize that currency. Oh, Hama called me. Hama. Hama. Hey Hama. Hello. There we go. Hi, we hi, there we go. That was really wacky and weird. And made yes. Yes. I. Yes. Luna Lovegood, thank you for the follow. Hama, I'm going to be doing a couple of party crash lobbies. Uh, while we chill and get ready for top eight because it looks like we're still a little underways uh, I've got a poll going on right now for who I should support in the party crash. We've oh, got spray man. Uh, the correct option. Ribbon girl is currently in the lead by exactly one point. How could you all be so wrong? Hold on You need to get in there and vote everybody get in there and I'm vote I'm For spring man so the loser will be whoever runs out of scrap bucks? Uh, maybe. Also, Hama, you you can also pump in coins to vote for your character, too. Uh, chat can just... That? I don't know. Somebody else uh, answer that question, because I don't know where that is. I just know I, I turned it on. There's Skeletor here. I can donate... I think it's in the voting menu. Voting menu. Okay, what do I... Oh, there we go. Vote 500. There we go. And so, Spring Man again, because it's time. Who did it? Iska. Who did it instantly and put Ribbon Girl back up? I'm so mad. Y'all are whack as crack. All right, Ribbon Girl is currently again in the lead by exactly one no, point. We are halfway no, through the timer. I'm just gonna leave the lobby before I actually... How are you both quiet and loud at the same time? Because I have him tur turned down a lot, and also he's still Hama, so... Yeah. <laughs> what you're hearing is called intense compression. I'm gonna turn him up a little bit more so you guys can hear him a bit better. Let me know if he's too quiet, or if he's too loud, or so on and so forth. Uh, Ribbon Girl is now in the lead by two points. Stop! <laughs> I mean, who votes for his jump spam? The people who don't want the flex spam. No, okay, back in the back in the tie, back in the tie, back in the tie. Come on, guys, one lead, one vote lead, one vote lead. Let's go, gang. No, it's tied again. <laughs> Why can't you? I don't care. These are your personal opinions. Do this for me, guys. Come on. This game has, this game has nothing if not the most delicious kinds of cheese. All the characters have cheese. Mechanica has cheese. Springman has cheese. Coil has cheese. They're all different wonderful flavors. Some are cheddar, some are brie, some are gouda. Some is a blue cheese, so certain people don't like it as much, but it's still really good. We all have our own delicious kind of cheese. What? That that would be that would be a fun thing to make. What Orange cheese is characters are cheese? <laughs> yeah, no, like we make a list of just like which character fits what cheese? Like is but, it a but I an acquired taste. Which one's the Limburger? Which arms character is the Limburger? There's, we, there's a there's a uh, a wheel up somewhere that like determine like categorizes cheeses by their softness and like their spreadability and stuff and like their tang. Like I can find this chart and we could plug everyone right now. This is like those tag yourself. I'm the water bottle on the desk type post. <laughs> I think Hama. Uh, we yes. can make plans to do this later, but. Yes. but but I want to have a specific stream for this, where it's like we plan it out and we have like a lot of time to actually do this. Because this requires thought. This is real. This is serious stuff. We need yeah, to. No, we need this to be accurate. Yeah, this segment chart. This is way more important. This is way more applicable to your daily life. This is cheese chart. And Ribbon is in the lead, and she's gonna take it by exactly no! one point. <laughs> Why? I believe I'm sending you this infographic here about the cheeses that you can maybe use to help your quest. I'll look into it. But right now, I'm setting up as Ribbon Girl. Ready? Hey! Oh, God. All right. Who are the simps in chat that are voting for Ribbon Girl? Hama, I'm in the players. lobby. You should join. Everybody, this oh, lobby is fully open. If you are a friend of mine, you can just immediately join until it fills up. Uh, if you're not a friend of mine, 
Uh, good luck finding it, but you should just join a lobby and play. Oh, we're gonna play together. You're not even playing Spring Man! I already have all the badges! I don't need them! All I No, need you, is you played to vote with your points! No, I played to meme! I mean, I'm playing Guardian Bird Shuck right now. How is this not already memes? I'm doing this for Paul! This one's for you, boy! E for everybody words. E, e, e. Oh, e items! Oh, let's go, Parabola. Oh, Ooh. that's yeah, oh, that's gonna be. Go into the meat grinder. And you oh, just you crap. you have to be patient with that stuff. Time it, boy. Time it. Why when I can just go Oongus and Boongus? Oh, speaking of timing, oh god. Oh god, Malie's good. <laughs> you're playing oh. mindfully right now, and that's what your downfall is. You have to turn your brain off to fight this. Oh no, she actually used her brain the correct way! <laughs> Let's go. Let's go! You got dumped on! I had the button right there, the Dorito was begging for it, and I didn't press it. Top 8 will be streamed by me and Casual Arms and should be happening shortly. We're just waiting for the rest of the top 8 players to be determined, and then things will get set up. Come on, come on, we got this. Ice man, I see you in this lobby. Come on, join me. Ain't also, whatever, but join me. Chat, do let me know if Ham is too loud. I'll turn him down if you want, or I can turn him up a little. Just let me know. I'm gonna be playing Ice Man. Actually, you can play Kopi. Kopi's Iceman, also join nice. Me. Ice man, join me in the para mummies. You do it with me and Paul every time after EU tournaments. Do it now when I need you most. Oh no! <laughs> are How are people avoiding a parabola set? I don't understand! Oh, there we go! Their paramummy's gonna be the goat! I knew this set had unlimited potential. Oh, unlimited potential! Oh, you mean potential? Don't you mean unlimited power? Unlimited. No, I missed two three-pointers in a row. How? It's because you're you're, you're bad at the you're bad at V-ball. You smell big smelly. I am smelly, but I'm really good at V-ball. I cheat and play. Wait, no, that's V-ball. You're playing V-ball. Oh, V-ball. I said V-ball. No, I did say V-ball, but you're playing V-ball. Yeah, I cheat at V-ball because I play double hyper mode. Oh God! Oh, why are you mean to me? <laughs> I'M THE WEAK GOAL! <sighs> I'm, All ribbon girls must perish. I'M POOR INNOCENT GOAL! PLEASE NO! All ribbon girls must perish and suffer! Alright, who will incur the wrath of terror? I'm ready to dunk some ribbon girl. Ooh, two people to dunk! Oh no, Iceman's gonna get it! Oh, Iceman wins! We had to gain up on Iceman! After they gained up on me, there was no way I was gonna win! And then I had to stop Iceman because Iceman was winning! But I mean, Come I was on, gonna boys. lose either way. It's Dunkin' time! Dunkin' Donuts? Not Dunkin' Ribbon Girls! No one sees Paramummy as a threat until he stuns you and does 200 damage! I mean, beyond, stop people forget that Master- Yep, yeah, there's Iceman, he's got- he switched over to Mumford for you. God, I love you Iceman! You're my hero! Oh man, I didn't block that. Oopie. 
There goes my hero. That's what I don't like about triangles, but is also entertaining, is just the fact that, like, in competitive, it would be awful. But casually, it's like, I mean, you're gonna get bullied sometimes, but it's entertaining to have all the bullying happen. There goes my hero. You Tomashi! Yes. Yes, Beyond, don't you do it. Uh, beyond, I know you're gonna do it, but don't do it. Let me invite Tomashi. Oh, there's the rock. Oh. Man. I can't invite Espeon's Tamashi camping to this. Me. Espeon's camping me and I'm upset. Tamashi, I- Wait, I have a friend request. Hang on. Okay. I'll, I'll do that in a minute. I have to dance with her. I have to dance with the pretty lady. And I need to make sure I'm keeping an eye on that chat. I'm getting upset. Oh gods, I just realized- Oh no, she's not oh, going full cheese. She's not going double God. chuck. She's going ram and ch chuck. I'm glad selects. That sucks. I wanna no, that's a fun ram. one. Oh wait, oh yeah, it ruins your fun because you have one arm you want to use. <laughs> Come on, give it to me. Bestow it upon me, Yabuki. Oh, Iceman, are you changing back over? You traitor. Oh no, good, he's staying. Good. Come on, give us parabola. Give both of us parabola. <laughs> you, you hear the hands rubbing together fiercely. Oh no, I didn't get it. We got guardian, which is like parabola's like. That, that that's like para that's parabola system. <laughs> that's parabola two, ele uh, already electric Google. Oh, did I get the grab? No, I didn't get the grab. Come on, Iceman. You have to do a little bit better than that, Iceman. No, you good. You 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 have a nice ribbon. It's a you have a very pretty ribbon. Oh no, the really fast puppy grab. He's the pending one. No. We'll just leave it like this right now, just for efficiency's sake. Sorry, Tamashi. Okay, come on. I got He's got grabs though. Go ahead, rush. Okay, I have to bring out my signature technique to win this. Uh, so mummy growls. Oh. Ooh, Iceman, it's 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 time for it's 4 p.m. Time time for your grabbing. I'll, I'll send lots of hugs to Tamashi though, because Tamashi is great and loved and beautiful. Oh, did I get the rush? Oh, I did. He tried. Oh, he tried to counter rush with my guardian rush, but I'm too good at stuff. Erg. Ooh, epic gamer style! Oh no, I have a- I have a retorture against double bird chuck King Cobra. No, you don't get to do a grab there! Why are you going for grabs? You have two bird chucks! You have bird chucks, Chris! Use the bird chucks! Why do you use many arms when you grab two? The bird chucks are so much better than grabs in this matchup. Look, you hit me. Oh, and the <laughs> sky arena betrays. Well, Iceman, let's unleash our fury upon the world. They know not what they are dealing with. Okay, Tom, it's time. No, you stay down there, Chris. Your bird, bird chuck? I can do that. Oh, he got Guardian Retorture? That's not fair against the mummy. I'm gonna cry to my mommy. I am dealing with a very scary thing. I'm gonna get hit. I have a lot of health, though. I probably could take Chris down. Why is Chris Kid Cobra in this? I think uh, Chris is specific- I mean, yes. But Kid Cobra is also a big bully to Ribbon Girl. Chris is specifically looking to bully with these double bird chucks. Oh, come on. Come on. More hits. One Three, more hit. More. Oh, he took the grab, really? Alright, alright, Tom. Alright, we'll time out, that's fine. I'll take it. I'll take the win. Drowning your intense Tom, sadness? I, I I understand those feelings. Tom, I will just hold shield, young man. I will turn this third last 50 seconds around. Oh, I will just hold shield, young man. Uh, you can join the party crash lobby if you'd like. Yoish. 
Uh, just enter Party Crash and you'll probably find your way in. Maybe not to this lobby because it looks full. Oh, and now it's not full. There is a spot open! And now- Why are there so many Kid Cobras in here? Tom, don't come back on me! Tom? Tom? Oh god, I'm gonna have to play against another double Birch Kid Tom? Cobra's Ribbon Girl. Tom! Okay, there we go! I didn't lose this- <laughs> I didn't ah. almost get come back on from full health. Ah. Oh god. And they, they, they have Toaster! I already have enough anxiety against Toaster as Mechanica. I don't want to deal with it here. No! Oh god, yeah, I landed right into that. I don't know when I'm safe as Ribbon Girl when I'm not. Iceman, join me in glory once again. No, you can't just grab me like that. Oh, bonus period. I'll just, I'll just be a Ribbon... I'll just play grounded, you know what? Iceman, are you doing it? No! Fight, Iceman. Why must brothers always be torn apart? Well, because you gotta have the Mumford Dose. Oh, we're not playing Mummy anymore. Oh, you've abandoned your heritage? Who are you playing then? Oh, uh, we're playing Cobra now. <laughs> oh, we're God! The gang. Bellows we're TV the gang. with the host! 67 viewers, many thanks, many hoys, many hellos, greetings, and thank you! Hey, what up, everybody? Wait, where's my color? There it is. Hi! Greetings, everybody! We will be commencing with the top eight very soon, very shortly. Yeah, we just got a couple more matches we gotta wait to finish up. I see right now, and Yuran are fighting it out for, I think, Dragon Bracket? God, I'm so bad at skill shot. Oh, wait, we're winning. Never mind. Yo, if I get two more viewers, I'll have over 100 viewers. That would be wait, really? big numbers. Are we that many? Well, I mean, yeah, he said 67, and we're sitting around... We were chilling around 40, 45, 60 people. So... People, please stay. Everyone love us, please. Please, please love us. Please support. I hunger. Also, Tamashi gave us a good boost with a handful of people, too. One, one of us got this high up. It's just because I'm North American. Oh, the skill shot in the last, like, four seconds. No, it's because I'm really trash in this room. Oh, I'm so trashy, man! Nope. Iceman, thank you for joining me, though. Thank you, Iceman. We can now carry on. We got this. We got this. Ollie, Ollie gonna fall! Uh, where did all the Kid Cobras go? There's only three of us now. We win! Tom is left defenseless! Mushroom! Let us crush this man! <laughs> Iceman and I keep being torn apart. Oh man. US privilege. We will be joined together once again and I'm just gonna dance with you, Iceman. Iceman, I just wanna love you! Thanks for watching, Yoshi! Merv is bully. I am big bully. Big smelly bully. Oh, we need to make a tier list of who's the biggest bully in the arm scene. Spelled yeah, B-O-L-L-E-E. -E. I can find really bad pictures of Serp if you want them. Just really embarrassing and disgusting. No, it... it I'd probably just use the Twitter profile picture. Maleev would be S tier. Maleev biggest, biggest bully. Tom is the biggest bullied, yes. Uh, Gilly also would be high tier bully. No, Tamashi, why would you play smart like that? I just want to do a fuse mechanic. No! I got so freaking hammered there! You guys suck. Oh, no, unhand me! Tamashi, Iceman, I hate both of you. 
That was such a good No one hating, that's me. I got just a little bit greedy and tried to abuse a rush being out. Gosh, diggity dang it. How does one get out of stuns shocks faster? Uh, you don't. You can't. Uh, you just- you have to just- Uh, positioning can help you survive, like, if you keep enough range, then the stuns and shots won't lead into combos. But beyond that, you just have to- if you get hit by one of those, you just accept the hit, and you have to eat the damage. You can kinda swiggle. You can kinda swiggle a little bit, but there's not much else you can do in the second No! Ollie, you took away my hat. My hat. Get blown oh, up. Come on, put me and Tamashi together. I don't want to just sit out here. I don't want to stare into the void and just chip through. I'm having fun. Iceman, carry on the good kid code for Nate and for Nate. Hey. Muted hammer in the distance. Angry hammer noises. What's a happy hammer noise? I haven't heard those since I was seven. Alright, I think we're true. about is ready to move on to the top eight. Let me just look over there. I'm gonna leave this group just in case. Um, put me in. Okay, put me in, Chief. Let's move over to the new arena. And I'm gonna just blank this out. Let's see, where's that? I just muted myself accidentally. There we go. All right. Hama, this is a code that you can guess. Oh, that's like... Okay, I won't do that then. I'll do something else. And I'll just give you the, the code, code that number. I can get, a code that I can guess. I think I know what it might be. I'll just... I picked a different number. Okay. Was it six... Uh, was it... I was originally thinking of 7-Eleven, but... Oh... Oh, gas stations. Okay, I thought we were going with the Dark Merv timeline. No, no. I go with 7-Eleven a lot. Alright, so I've got my end of the lobby ready and open. Okay, just gotta finish up this one party crash match, and then I'll be good to go. Nice. Okay, uh, it's, yeah, it's not out yet, but they're just setting it up. It should only be just a moment. Right, cool. Finished up, and I should be shortly. By the way, how did you enjoy your your end of the streams with uh, Paul? Oh my god, we got resolved SERP finals, and that was crazy. That, we didn't yeah. have a single bad match. Not a single bad match the entire time. I climbed. It was actually so good. Climbing bracket was fun. I ended up getting knocked out by Astro, despite me chugging a whole can of tool assisted speed running water. Should my task monster. My task water doesn't did not work out. No monster would have been destructive. But he would have been a beast. And if it if it's good enough, Tima, it's good enough for me. I've also never had a monster in my life because I'm scared of already uh unlimited uh energy. Oh uh Yoishi, this tournament started at one p.m. This uh, yeah, this time. tournament started like a while ago. Two and a half hours. Yeah. Cookies with the host. Thank you, love. Thanks, cookies. Do we have a final? But okay, for to... those who are interested in joining a tournament in the not too far off in the future, uh, there are adverts that you'll notice says supported by. Uh, there's a couple of links. You can follow those for things such as casual arms or network era. Or you can also sign up to my event that's coming up just this Monday, the Scrap League Monday, which is going a uh, throwback to an old tournament style that used to be ran for the longest of whiles. And we're gonna I'm gonna bring it back for just like one event. This will be during the free arms trial period, which means if you have if you're currently just playing with the Nintendo Switch online and you don't actually own arms, you are still eligible to compete in this tournament. Sign up for some good hype arms. Alright, so now we're just keeping an eye on things. So game plan is we'll be picking one of the tournament, or one of the bracket matches from top 8. Uh, Casual Arms will be picking their own. And then after that one, we will be moving over and we'll be picking our choices from the lower bracket. Yeah, well, speaking of which, let's see. I think we have now everyone who's in. I just don't think the bracket itself is, like, seated up. 
Yeah, they're just setting that up. We'll see. We goof, we have... Uh, oh, Gore, that one I didn't see finished. He beat... Uh, it finished off with uh, Hess taking that one. Hess Resolve is in there. Astro Ninja is making it in. Uh, I think there was one between Landfrog and j and from what it sounds yeah. like, Landfrog was able to make it, which sounds... I, I'm pretty sure he's, like, in the hollow right now with these results. I kind of want to see... Oh, no. Casual Arms is going to be watching that when chances are, so we'll have to pick one of the others. I kind of want to look at the resolve matchup. But we'll see what our yeah. options are, because depending on variables and things going on, there might be better matches than others, or at least matches more relevant to our interests. Yeah, I know Griff. I think Griff made it through. Yes, Griff. Yeah, he made it over Hanukkah. I know. I, I'm heartbroken to know that both of them had to take each other out. Let's see who else. Okay, we got Astro, and then who's... Oh, yeah, and then Landfrog. So, yeah, top eight's pretty freaking good. Top eight is very good. Yeah, I really, I really want to see... I want to see Griff versus Resolve very early on as a grudge match for the last North American Open. Like, that one is probably the biggest match to potentially look forward to right now. Mm. That one, that one really determines, um, because Resolve hasn't played for, like, a long time in arms. So that really determines, like, has he still got what it takes to beat Griff down again? Or is Griff's constant play uh, and adaptation still going to carry him back up to the top? Oh, here we go. We've got it. So Goof will be facing off against Landfrog. <gasps> we have a Canadian dis decimation with Griff and JM, JM. Canada. Oh Hess and Resolve. And then Astro will be facing off against him. Oh, Hama, what should we go for? Resolve and Hess or Griff and JM? Because those are both like... Mwah. Those are exquisite. I want, to do, I want Griff JM so bad. Those are my boys. Okay, they're they're my boys too. So we're we're doing this one. We'll take the Canadians. Oh man, this hurts. This hurts. I would pick. They didn't, they I would know yet. <laughs> gladly pick both of those. Like that's like that's a heartache right there. Where it's like I want to see Resolve. I want to support him. If it were not for Resolve, I wouldn't be in this scene. He was. He's somebody I look up to. He's somebody that he encouraged me to keep playing and keep pushing myself, and to improve and grow. And then it's like my Canadians. My fellow Canadians, I have to... I love them, too. <laughs> they didn't know yet. I told them in our little group chat about this, and they're not happy. <laughs> I... This is so bad. Give, <laughs> give them an invite like to the code, or give them the code invite so they can just join in and yeah. we can be all set and ready for when things officially start. This is gonna be. <laughs> this is gonna be so. This is going to be intense. Night. Yeah, we've been playing together for the past like two weeks, so the adaptation these guys are gonna have to each other should show a lot. So yes, we've got ourselves the mythical Griffical, and we've got Jean Marc J M Canada stepping in for our first bout in the top eight of grand finals. Oh, <laughs> this is gonna be pay. This is gonna be what? This is like two brothers duking it out, fisticuffs. To her, uh, oh, you gotta I mean, do this for, there for we go. bragging rights. Yeah, we're just in it for bragging rights right now. Uh, just a reminder for anybody interested. Everybody who's made top eight gets twenty five dollars with worth of switch points, two thousand five hundred gold coins, delicious bunch of biddies that they will be using to shop to their heart's content. I'm only slightly sour at the fact that I had to face off against Astro in my bracket still, and as thus was pretty much guaranteed to not get a shot at that, but you get what you get. Yeah, and if you guys, um, if you guys don't have arms right now and you guys have been liking what you've been seeing today, really consider once the free trial ends, like picking up the game. I think. I th everyone here will tell you that it's very worth the $60 if you buy it new, or you can always just go on eBay and find a used copy. Like, 
that's a very viable way to get games that I don't think a lot of people are thinking about. So like, if you like this, go and go and find go and find it. And you, you know what? You all no, I won't do. I won't say that. But yeah, if you we do have an event coming up in just this Monday. There's a lot of events again, as you see on the adverts there. And once again, I've got an event coming up this Monday on the last day of the free trial period everybody sign up enter participate play more fun will be had there's always more chances to play arms online offline sideline y line my line your line their line every line lots of chances to play arms I line you line he she we line lineology <laughs> the study of line it's first grade kid cobra is line you know all of them some Tostitos have hint of line. Those are good ones. Yeah, I like. No, the best one are the Finn and Crispies though. Those boys have crotch. I like them. Mm. All right. Oh, by the way, everybody, if you haven't heard, tomorrow Panda Global is doing a, a, a an event with the same rule set as today. It's gonna be hosted by Coney and Vicky Kitty. So if you guys want to see, um really good arms commentary from like very established smash commentators go check that out or play in it like i think it's gonna be a very good event i'm i'm even gonna enter and it's the first time i've been in an event since smash out oh god that was quite a while ago wasn't it yeah that was what november december that was the tournament i took by the way i also win tournaments i'm good i'm a gamer i'm just not good enough for this I think I won one local tournament, and that's all I've ever done. <laughs> uh, it wasn't even with Lola. It was my spring man. I placed top four in Evo Japan Tokage uh, back in, like, 2017, 2018? 2018. Uh, beyond that, I have taken brackets in the Assault Flats tournament. Uh, I've won in NorCal Regionals way back in the day, and I also recently took the smash out uh i went oh one two and haven't done anything since so i have a rage quit he just hard rage quit it's true i i was a i was a little shalty about that one i went a little bit of your tirade there but it's fine also big shout outs huge love to battle five for hosting this event They've got a bunch of staff who are ho helping making sure that this runs smoothly. Uh, my events, most of them are s supported and not sponsored, but they're supported by Battlefy. Uh, you, it doesn't happen too often, but you will see odd bits and bit, bits and that prizes pop up in some of my events, especially if it, they start getting bigger numbers again. Uh, so yeah, much love to Battlefy. Thanks for helping run this event. Uh, thanks for helping run my events, and. Cool. Battlefly. Just giving love to wherever and whichever. Uh, Just see. making sure to get up the final plugs while I can. I need to grab my Twitch channel one more time. And yeah, we're just waiting on making sure everything is all set and ready. Waiting for JM and Griff to join this lobby. Let me let me tell them really quickly to join. I I already I already told them to. Okay, cool. Uh, didn't you tell them beforehand to join our lobby? I did, and they didn't listen because they were upset. Of They're buttheads. There's, they're all, everybody is a smell. Everybody. As we speak, Griff is composing a mad tweet about this. Yeah, he, he, he's going to go on his Twitter.com, talk about how mean everybody is. He's making a call-out post on his Twitter.com. We have small brains. They're the size of walnuts, except way smaller. Yep. Our brains, super big. Like, the size of a moon. 
Ah. Here we go. Griff, and okay, here we go. Griff and JM have stepped up, and I believe we've gotten the go-ahead to start our matches now. We are all set, ready, and raring to go. If you're all looking for hype matches, you are going to find few that can rival the intensity and prowess of JM Canada and Griffical, both of Canada. All right, guys, we got one question for you. Are you ready to rumble? Because this is going, this is a grand finals, like almost any other tournament. And this is round one. <laughs> Looks like they have squared up. DNA Lab gonna be our destination. Masongo and Kid Cobra, the competitors. Let's get it on. Starting things off. Griff gonna be going in with the Chilith, Phoenix and Scully. JM going to go with the tried and true classics. He's got that Slammer Matter. We've got a Cool Rain as a nice counter pick and that Roaster ever present. And it looks like he's gonna actually start things up looking for those Ice Chains with that Cool Rain. Hamlet, tell me how this is different from the Slammer Matter. Uh, well, I think for one, Jam is really gonna like this to try to catch around the pillar that Griff is gonna be trying to put up. Griff is a very defensive player by nature, and his Masango loves to abuse the heck out of that throw that he puts up. So I think Jam has finally, like, found an arm that he wants to use to get around that, and that's why the lane is Yeah, definitely a very solid, very excellent pick. Also means that rather than getting wind confirms, he can get ice chains, he can freeze Griff, which is a safe way to take off that mask and put Griff in really precarious positions so that Jam can continue on with this onslaught, with this pressure. Maybe we'll see some of it here, as Griff also has a nice ice arm equipped with that chilla. Ooh. And the one who really wants this to stay. Jam gonna go for the rush to try to break through it, but it had too many hits on it. Griff gonna just stay back there and shield, the pillar gonna let him take less chip damage. And the... Put on and the rush Jam not able to cover out of the way. 290 damage. Griff on the offensive now. <laughs> Never mind. He's on the defensive again. Oh no, Griff is gonna. Yeah, Griff is definitely gonna hold back. He's got the health lead now. He wants to play things safe. Does not want to make any risky investment because any full hit from JM. Or JM's just looking for two full hits. If he get so Griff has a little bit of wiggle room. He wants to hold onto that wiggle room does not want to get caught by that chilla because that would be Ooh. disastrous. And we're going to see the timeout happen. JM not going to have any answers. And Griff going to be able to claim the first point. We do have a lot of pillars gone so far, but I don't think Griff really minds when he can make his own portable one that'll show up anytime he needs it. JM going to switch off the ring over to the bub, give himself a little bit more boxing power, but Griff is going to respond with a much faster arm here in the Scully, his tried and true legend. This can be a little risky as JM has those double gloves, which means it's going to be really easy for him to punch around that Scully and punch through it with that heavier weight. But that also said Griff is an expert at throwing out those charged hits and being able to just pummel down his opponent, especially since he's got armor right now. We can see JM really struggling to keep up with this and is just getting beat down into a pulp. And Griff just Ooh. looking for one hit to take JM out. Pixel? What's he gonna be? How's Griff gonna be able to finish this? Griff, Griff, no Griff finally getting knocked down. JM starting to get a little bit of tempo, but oh! Scully stealing away the point and Griff now holding on to the match advantage. The way he jumped above the pillar and threw it right overhead, curving downward, like that is only possible because of the heavy homing buffs that Scully has gotten over time. Otherwise, there was no way he can that. What a freaking play by Griff. An excellent start too. Just a reminder for everybody too that we have been best of three up to this point. No more. These are all best of five. These players have all the time they need to start figuring each other out, start making those counter plays, start coming up with some good strategy, and learn how to work around your opponent. These two know each other, but that doesn't mean that they ain't gonna have a trick or two underneath their sleeves. We'll I'll see if JM has an extra plan set up and ready to try to counteract this as Griff steps into the ring awaiting the next round. Yeah, JM might honestly throw off that cooler ring since it really didn't seem to do much for him the first time around. Though it could all change depending on the matter of DNA Lab and he's getting hit again! <laughs> Very poor random poor stages. Guy. Oh, poor guy. But we do yeah. have that Slimamander out it's going to be a nice curve option. It might not work as well around those pillars, 
but generally dancing around it's much safer it's going to lead into a lot of better opportunities he's not even gonna take that chance right now we are going in with double bubs the safest the best glove for boxing and pummeling down everything your opponent has we can just see right you just saw right there where jam was just safely punching down literally everything grip had and just started outweighing him in the matchup yeah, fighting, fighting double Cobra Bub is a lot like a, what if you tried to punch but King Cobra said, oh. he just has unlimited block potential with these. JM not even worrying about attacking right now though, just using his Cobra movement to try to get in on Griff, but Griff is not even coming out of the pillar to let him punish. Does for a short second, oh, oh no! Get around the pillar, 220 damage, JM down into the red on a counter rush. Griff with an excellent read of that Phoenix just slipping right around the tubes. You know Jam wasn't even remotely close prepared for that. And he's going to get sniped down as Griff takes the first point with confidence. Yeah, that catch was really up in the air by Griff, but he ended up making it work. JM going to switch off of the bubs back to his trusty uh, handy dandy roaster and slap closing in on Griff. Griff still not phased though. He never flinches in the face of danger. Just going back to his nice little home there in the pillars. But JM not gonna flinch at the ice chain potential. Slamamander gonna come in nice and helpful there, pushing Griff back against the wall yet again, giving JM back that neutral ground, that room that he's really looking for. And we're seeing him take advantage of that as he gets an excellent read with that grab, claiming 170 damage. Oh, that could have been an excellent rush confirmed, but he's not gonna go for it yet. Maybe just not feeling like he had the time. He does have a very confident health lead too, so it could easily be a very risky play. Griff has not had any time so far to breathe to get a shield or a mask up. Jam is not letting him relax. And you see Griff in a much more right now than we've seen him before in the rush right here, but Jam out! And that momentum swing is huge for JM. One more hit, even one more little sideways graze will do anything to knock Griff out. Griff just trying to play things smart, trying to play things safe right now. Jam just continuing to throw, just flurry Ooh. after flurry of hits. And finally, something's gonna connect. It's the Slam Amanda. Yeah, you saw Griff was so close to every single one of those punches. He kept like matrixing to the side of them, but in the end, he couldn't run, he couldn't hide. Slap wanted a little bit of that action. Now Griff gonna slip away from that Phoenix. We've got the Scully back on the field. We'll have to see how this works. An excellent bait with the Scully just retracting so quickly. JM could not Ooh. respond in time. But we are seeing some excellent corner pressure as Jam gets a couple of hits out of Griff and then gets pushed back as Griff finally finds that room to work with. Griff's in a very unique situation right here with the Scully where most of the time you really don't want to go into the air to contest Cobra because he will and hit harder than you. But because the Scully is so quick and fast that he, he really doesn't have time to jump out of the way and Griff can actually contest Kid Cobra for this. Gonna get the freeze, but that wind confirmed. Going to slow things down just enough. Gives JM all the time he needs. And, oh, that could have been an excellent block, but Griff dropping the shield last moment. Trying to stay out of harm's way and ends up falling prey straight into the rush. Now. You didn't know that you could dash refresh off of a freaking Misango pillar, but JM acting like that was nothing. Griff is gonna get the yellow mask up right here and build up some rush in a couple of punches. Jim, we'll have to deal with that, but Griff's at such low health right now that it's it's really scary for both of them. We get the poison, Griff holding tempo. That yellow mask means that if Griff throws out that shield, if he throws out the rush, he just has a permanent shield that is immune to all damage. What? You can see JM does not want to deal with that right now because if Griff brings out the shield, it's pretty much game. And we're going to see a safe block. Griff claiming a second point compliment of DNA Lab. I can't believe Griff went for that long range. JM, who's known for having those really raw grabs, but instead Griff was the one who it was looking like a Lola backdash grab. That was insane. DNA, DNA game three. Are we gonna get a third DNA lab? Are we gonna get a different stage? JM definitely hoping for something that can give himself a little bit more advantage. Once he's starting to warm up now with that roaster and slam amander though, Definitely can turn this around if he gets the right stage. This could just lead to something big for him Just yeah, a friendly reminder for everybody too. Kid Cobra is hot Yeah, we're gonna have to see JM getting a reverse 3-0 if he wants 
It's not something that JM can't do, though. He definitely has all the tools and all the knowledge to do this. There Just aren't. To take a little break and relax. There aren't many people out there, but JM is definitely one of the few who can pull a reverse 3 0, especially against a player like Griff. Once he starts getting his tempo, once he starts making his reads, JM can be oppressive, suffocating, utilizing the high girth of Kid Cobra, that high mobility, and just the beautiful complementary set that which is Roaster vs. Slamamander. We are going to see a stage that probably is a lot more in his favor with Buster Beach being such an excellent corner chaser stage. Ooh, let's see if he's able to chase even better now. He's ditched that bub for a glusher. Glusher can be really good for just that heavyweight powering through pretty much everything Griff has along with the explosion on top, meaning it's just that much more dominant on shield. Griff is gonna get the red mask on very early, but Jam's not gonna let him cling onto it for very long. Knocking the bull into the air, tries to go for one of his grabs, but Griff is just gonna stay confident and calm. Jam's looking a little bit like he's fishing though here. He's really not sure how to nail Griff down so far. Griff is just gonna continue to be like an impossible answer one of the reasons why just being the fact that Masango is so flexible. He's got those three different masks, and then he's got his unmasked form, which is also just a whole nother can of beans that you're going to have to deal with. Jam constantly having to dance between these setups, these approaches. Ooh, there we go. There's the JM staple. Man looking like he killed Louis Pasteur because that was... Oh, gets another rush out of it too after an air dash. So much damage in so little time. You saw JM just throwing a flurry into that corner, looking to build up Rush again as quickly as possible. It's definitely one of his strongest assets. He has spent hours perfecting and mastering how he throws out that Rush. And more often than not, you do not mess with his Rush. You do not even get to challenge it. Ooh, JM's trying to secure Griffin in the hot pocket, but he's ha having absolutely none of it that will stay untoasted. But Griff now gets tossed into there. JM just needs to find a little bit more. Puts Griffin the magic pixel. Anything will do it. And the slap is going to be able to follow through. JM going to be able to secure the first point here. Buster Beach definitely helping so much more. This range, the space, just giving him that, that breathing room that he really needs to be able to start closing in against Griff. Oh, JM's just gonna go for it! Griff with absolutely no retort, not even a shield! JM's gonna take the very early lead. Griff, 10 seconds in, already down to half of his health. Griff ready with the rush. He's looking for a chance to throw it out. You can tell JM is being very cautious, very aware of the fact that that is present. And he's just making safe, smart calls. And he's starting to just catch Griff off his feet. He is feeling some intense pressure right now. As Griff now in critical, has to put that yellow mask on just so he has that defensive option if things really stop working out for him. Oh my gosh, okay. JM has abandoned the smart safe calls. Just went for another grab right there. I don't think Griff, he was expecting Griff to go for it. Now they're at fairly even health, but JM has the rush again. If he can land it, that's it for this game. If he can land anything, that's it. Goes for the confirm, oh, trying to go for the pressure. And the roaster connects. JM will stay hang on by a thread in the winner's bracket. Getting that final hit and brings the score to 2-1. Chris favor. He's going to have to hope for no game four, DNA Lab. God, I would die. <laughs> All right, let's see. I think I don't think there's going to be many switches here, right, though. Griff may go over to Master Mummy, but I don't really think so. I want to. I think he's just going to stay. I have confidence in the Misango. I want to see the Misango keep going. I, Griff does have the Dr. Coil that we pretty much will never see, and that Master Mummy, of course, too. We are going to see the Master Mummy, though. And it's really quick. If, if we're going to see Master Mummy anywhere, this is probably the best place as there is so much oppression you can do here, and Kid Cobra oh, loses so much movement. Yeah, and with that whammer being able to smack Kid Cobra out of almost any position on the match, JM's gonna have to like play very hard to make sure he doesn't get swatted down. But JM is gonna be facing the double nade right here. That's honestly a lot better of a matchup. Uh, kind of. It's also very 
the, the main has a lot of flexibility in how it's aimed, how it's positioned, and it can do a very easy job of catching JM during his jumps. That's why you're seeing JM just focus on very short hops, light movements while he's just charging up and making sure that he's just playing safe, playing smart, and getting these snipes in there to continue to pressure and oppress Griff as much as possible. Because as soon as he lets up for even a moment, this Master Mummy's gonna either start healing with that shield, or just utilize that larger girth size to start dominating against JM Canada. Oh! You guys fighting at a scholastic book there because the reads on that both of these players are are so crazy! You saw JM just keeping Griff in the back of there and smacking him every dash with the roaster, but now Griff has been the one corralling JM into the corner. Ooh! Hit him right out of a Cobra Dash! Very tricky to do! Earth, it's a little bit easier. Griff currently holding on to the lead. That rush can KO at this point. JM, look, if he gets a good win confirmed, can set Griff to a last hit. But Griff is just playing safe, playing smart, up until that one play, and we get a solid 360 no scope rush. JM now just looking for that final hit, that final bit to get the KO. You can see Griff more than happy to try to slow down this match, start healing up a bit, and with a few seconds left oh, on no. the clock, JM oh, going no. to safely dodge out of the way, but only for so long. Griff gonna try Is to Griff heal. Gonna There's not enough time. There's yeah. not enough time. Oh. I think Griff wanted him to think that there was enough time though, because you saw he went for that really risky double punch, and then end, it wouldn't have mattered. But you, Jam got a little nervous right there. Griff is going to bring out the little hammer. To it's just a matter of will he be able to nail Jam's movement. He is initially. Will it be able to continue? Whammer definitely a very solid pick here. A very powerful anti-air tool. I use it personally against Kid Cobra, and I've gotten some good results against JM utilizing this arm. It's so good at sniping Kid Cobra when he's in the air. The heavyweight oh! allows him to power through a lot of JM's attacks. And that stun confirm can lead into some devastating combos. Griff's not gonna be able to jump out of the way of Jam's amazing rush right there. Gets hit by a Mander too. Usually you think Master Mummy is the oppressor on this stage, but Jam is fighting the power. He's rising up and gonna rise out of the way to fight that rush. Unfortunately, still gonna get hit for 335. Grab attempt. Jam now back into the corner. Griff is regaining the means of control right here. Slime Man are gonna open that up, that wind, pushing Griff back and leaving him exposed in the air for a bit. Jam has control. He's gonna throw out the rush, but the nade breaking through that rush deflect and is gonna blast JM out of there. Now he's gotta try to play against Griff, who's patiently shielding and trying to heal up. And with that one hit, this is pretty oh, much oh, Griff's no, game. This is Griff's round right here. JM trying to bring this back. Oh no! Oh my gosh! He barely boxed out the nade, boxing it out again. Getting what? the win. Griff has the rush, but JM still has all the. Griff Kid Cobra is so good at getting out of those. Griff just gonna start healing up again with a few seconds left. Out JM? comes the rush. JM? JM? JM gonna oh! get sniped, and we have one more round for these two. Griff again on match point. If he takes this, he will be advancing on the winner's side, and JM will be knocked down. You know, as much as JM loves his boy Griff, he ain't gonna let that happen. God, that rush was painful to look at. You saw Griff keep the one arm high, so he just kept it constantly. And JM really didn't want to. He still has it at the start of this round, though. And if he can Griff down to the back corner, maybe win confirm into it. Goes for the grab right there. JM is gonna not land it, though. Griff able to just hold the shield. In the JM actually landed the grab, but canceled it out with the rush, expecting Griff to break it. And because of that, Griff actually had enough time to bring out the shield. JM making a very, very bad play right there, and is getting hard punished for it right now. His group just quickly starting to trample. Oh! JM oh. finds his way out. He's still in this. You saw that crab shark in the side of Chris's screen. If they had just a little more time, that would have and Mummy move like almost no other can. Health is still in Chris's favor. Jam's gonna try to make that gap a little narrower. Rush coming up as well, and a roaster to Chris's face will be the ultimate delivery. Every the rush will kill at this point. Now Anything will kill. Jam just needs to, and one hit, one rush, one shield. Though it's not gonna break. It's gonna be very close. Oops. And there's one final slam man, they're gonna connect. JM still in this bracket. Score now brought to 2-2. Whoever takes this next match will be advancing in the winner side. <laughs> Guys, I can't handle that this is...
Oh, round one. Also, oh shout out to gosh. everybody. We are officially over 100 viewers right now. Thank you all for the support. Thanks for dropping by and hanging out. All right, the prophecy has been foretold. Chat is lending JM its power, but will it be enough or will the big bad Griff be able to wall out JM once again? Hey now, Find Griff ain't out. bad. Griff ain't bad. He's... <laughs> Both of these players are too incredible and lovable. I couldn't mark either of them as vil villains here. This is bad for JM, I think. While they both have a lot of room to move around, Griff likes his movement a lot more. And at the start of this round, if he starts with blue mask, it's gonna be really hard for Jam to get the initial hit. This is all this this gives this is giving me the ideas. This is like a different DNA lab. There might be more chance for Jam to be able to make this work, but we are pretty much in DNA lab as we've got those two pillars. We've got so many elevation changes, which means Griff can usually position himself in a way where he can be able to outpipe JM Canada or just keep himself at bay and safe. But this also means, with this stage being so much smaller, that it's a lot easier for Jam just to keep this chase going and make sure Griff does not have a chance to get that mask equipped. Jam's gonna have to make nothing but hard reads here. Anytime that he thinks he's got a solid position, Griff probably has an out to escape. But Jam is still peppered on these hits. Griff escapes from the top platform. There's the blue mask, and we know Griff is no stranger to using Masango's blue mask just to evade everything Jam throws out. So far, though, he's like one little area. Jam just keeping up this pressure. Got another slam enter and the win confirmed, meaning that Griff loses that mask has to get something charged up again. And you can see Jam trying to utilize this pillar just to find that sweet point to go in for the punish, get the KO. But Griff gonna be able to safely bring out the shield. Jam accommodating for the fact that that pillar was there. And a nice grab punish, meaning that Jam is holding a very solid lead. And that final pillar finally knocked out, meaning that this is an open field. No tubes for Griff to hide behind beyond that Masango pillar that he's got. Griff trying to go for some ice chains right there, but Jam just gonna stay back and stay cool. Griff has his rush online. Jam staying frozen once again. Breaks up the grab with the man. You're not worried about the rush. No. I don't think there's anything Griff can do about this. No, that is a gone oh, round. Dead. Jam currently holding on to a reverse sweep right now. Match point looking for one more win to be able to take Griff out and to be able to advance. Griff going to bring out the Scully one last time. This is his final gambit. If he can take JM here, he has one more shot. After that, that's all she wrote. They're staying behind with the pillar. Oh the no! And now trying to go for some very JM like plays. Advanced red mask here. Goes for a nice little grab right there, trying to set more up, but JM has staved him off for now. Out comes the Russian. That is nigh unavoidable. Griff gonna be able to land a hardy 220 damage. Has yet to be hit, looking to just keep this tempo going. Griff looking for one final hit. Can Griff get the perfect? Oh, and he's no, going he to get it on the, the That is not a true perfect, but that's about as close as you're gonna get in this tournament. Griff getting a nigh perfect, only taking some light shield chip damage. JM going to be sticking with his loadout. You saw he was like, ooh, wait, maybe I should change my loadout. That is a good loadout to stick with, and JM is going to stick with it, try to make things work once more. Griff just going to keep his loadout. It got him pretty much a perfect before. JM takes an early snipe on. He's getting in his rush, but Griff is so close to getting his as well. Very mad. Using a force jump to get Griff to push to the black platform. Get one for the kill. Oh! The skull is starting things off. They're back on the yellow mask as well. Another rush is going to be coming up very soon, ladies and gentlemen. Jam now being forced to approach. Griff still just circling around this one little area. But he does get knocked away. No more mask for him. Jam out on top of this. Hiller going to be able to safely protect Griff, preventing him from taking a lot of unnecessary damage and shield pressure. Still just barely holding on to that lead, but any damage will be enough to assert JM with the lead. That rush also coming up for JM. He'll be ready with it first, but Griff will not be far behind. Gosh, JM is getting so close to all these hits. Griff being so close to the fire right now. Not going to get his shield quite broken, but almost. Going to try to retort on JM, but the man is going to break the... After it, that's the best punish JM could have gotten there. Jam holding on to the lead right now. 
holding a little bit of control, but Griff is slowly closing in that distance, continuing to poke and jab with the Scully. You can see JM has recognized the timer. What is left? 10 seconds. He cannot get hit anymore. And Griff trying to find his way in. Any strike would be enough. One second left, and he is going to close it out. Rocky music in the background because that was the closest I've ever seen. And JM will be closing this bracket match 3 2, pulling out a full reverse sweep on Griff, who will be moving on to the lower bracket. JM advancing to the winner deeper into the winner side, ready to face off against his next opponent, Goof. Oh my gosh, yeah, JM is gonna fly now. Holy. <laughs> yeah, uh, very good recognition of the timer. I couldn't tear my eyes away from that action just long enough to even see. Holy cow, that was round one, guys. We've still got was... so much more. Uh, <laughs> oh god, I'm, my adrenaline is freaking pumping right now. And let's see how things are going elsewise. It looks like Goof was able to take Landfrog out 3-0 and is awaiting his opponent, which will be JM Canada. On the lower side of things, we have yet to see the other two and their results. Once we've got that data, once we've got that information, we will be probably diving right in down there. As I can't hear anything but that song from the end of Rocky 2 when... <laughs> When Rocky finally takes down Apollo Creed, that's exactly what we just saw here. That was so crazy. That's that's JM's loadout too. You saw he was playing around with a couple of things early in. Tried out the bub, tried out a cooler aim. Really couldn't make any of them work. But once he went back to his tried and true, he went back to the roaster slam. No matter what he has most experience with, he was able to push through. And with that, he's was able to turn everything around at the last moment. Also, not getting DNA lab definitely helped him out maybe a bit. Yeah, he noticed the only ones he really loved. The same map twice. Oh, man. God, looking at other scores, everything's... So no one's reported anything right now. I'm gonna peep in the chat, see if they've said anything to anybody. I'm gonna look into the resolve in Hess one. Yeah, I'm looking at Gore Astro, and it looks like they've done... Um... One... Resolve and Hess two, currently... Two. Looks like some somebody has a two-point advantage, because we do have to ask if it's best of five, so... There's a likely chance that somebody is nearing a win. There might still be a while to go on there. Let's see how this other one is going. Yeah, Gorn Astro right now is some. It's two matches have been played at least. I don't know who's favored though. They've just said GG. Yeah. Lots of GGs. Lots of lots of poggers in chat. That kind of stuff. <sighs> oh, I mean, it gives us a moment to breathe, a moment to chill. Yeah, honestly, I, I my my heart is not is not prepared for another one. Goodness, oh my gravy. Uh, it looks like if people are interested on the casual arm side, they're going to be streaming C6, which is whoever wins between Hess and Resolve and Astro's Smash, they will be playing against each other. Uh, so that means that I think Griff and JM are just free to dive into their next match. Yeah, yep. have we determined which one we're going to be streaming yet? Uh, I'll pick and I mean do you want to just dive in and do Griffin Landfrog I think though since we haven't seen the either either of those players um, in, the, in the last in the next match on stream I kind of want to I kind of want to see what they're bringing to the table right now but it's up to you it depends on who's on that side because there's certain people that would be really hype but otherwise I would love to see the Griff Landfrog continue or the Griff Gold narrative continue yeah, it's hard when you have so many best boys in the bracket. That's... It's unfortunate, but it's what must happen, and we must chug along. along. Oh my gosh, 
This is such a. This is so good. Give me just once. Now, uh, while we are waiting, getting things charged up, we'll just remind everybody that if you see any hype moments, if you see anything cool, don't be afraid to take a clip, save that moment, share it around the world, because there's a lot of cool things that will be coming up in store. Uh, there's also the Casual Arms community, www.casualarms.net. Follow the link, and you'll be able to see a bunch of other arms players. They do a lot of other things as well. Stay in touch with them, and you'll have a lot of fun games. We do have the Arms NA Online Season 3 PR Finale coming up just a little bit. You saw the link on the screen. If you follow that link, you can help support the and fund the prize pool. That will be these players will be competing for. Again, not affiliated with Nintendo. This is something created specifically by the ARMS community. Uh, if you see any cool emotes from this channel, be, don't be afraid to subscribe. Uh, it's not necessarily one for one there, for, so make sure you check to see what's kind of going on. But tier one subscriptions do get four emotes. Plus, you'll also be eligible to add a song to the stream playlist. Uh, conditions apply, just DM me for more info. And depending on how many bits you donate, or what tier of a subscription, you can get other emotes that way too. And then last but not least, do keep in mind the bi-weekly procrastination, which is a tournament event organized by Ohio Arms, the oldest in the Arms community to date that's still active. And that's a tournament series that kind of, you just go at it every once in a while over the course of a week. Lots of fun, lots of events going on in the arm scene, even to this day. We keep trucking along. Yeah, God, I'm so glad about this arms renaissance right now. We really are seeing, I I wish we saw like a player today make it into the top eight, but that really does show the merit of our top players right now. They know, know their game so, and I mean, we've been sticking with the same game for almost three years now in a time where not a lot of people believed in it. So I, I it's very, very good that, that we we're able to show off that this game takes a lot of skill, a lot more than I think some people give it credit for. All right, and I've come to the decision. We are going to be streaming the Griffical Landfrog match. We'll get, get, be getting that one set up right away. All right. Um, do you want me to go into the chat in the battle fight? I, I already let them know. Okay, cool. So Landfrog being definitely an outlier for a lot of this community, uh, being well known in the casual arms crew, a motion control user Ninjara that utilizes the Guardian generally for a lot of players, definitely not seen as one of the top by some, but he's definitely got enough grit and has found his way in here to demonstrate and show his worth. It is definitely somebody you cannot underestimate. You cannot underrate this player. He definitely has a lot of tricks underneath his sleeve. Oh, yeah, and uh, fighting up against Griff Table. But there's a lot, too, that he might, that you guys might not have seen from him yet. There's mummy sets he hasn't whipped out yet. There's an entire character that he won't... He thinks it's too high tier, but if you guys can convince him it's, that Coil's low tier, I'd be very honored, because Griff's, Griff's Coil is something else. Griff is one of the, in my opinion, like, four pioneers of Coil. Uh, those being, uh, Dart, Trap, Astro, and Griff. I really love seeing what Griff brings to the table with his Scully adaptations. Oh god, the Scully off of Griff is, like, in insane. It's just... It's everything. All right, here. I think we should be ready to start very shortly. Yeah, once both players are ready, they can hop into the ring and we can commence our next match. Uh, fun fact for people who might be interested, uh, player Ku will be actually streaming some of this too. And he'll be doing coverage and commentary in Japanese for anybody who wants to listen to that. Alright, we should be getting underway. Griff readies up. Landfrog should follow suit soon, very shortly, hopefully. We're gonna start off on Temple Grounds. Griff's actually going B and B. Not a character we see too many people playing out. We know that um, Landfrog did, though, fight another B and B to get here, so. 
if he's got any kind of prowess in this match, it might come through today. It's gonna stick with the Scully and the Toaster right here. Uh, very similar to some of the uh, the great BNBs like Para, like um, like T Turtle. This is this is a very good set for Bite and Bark here, especially if he's able to camp on top of the dog. The Landfrog has made sure that Bark is out of the equation for right now. And he's gonna want to punish him down every single chance he gets. Phoenix is definitely going to be a very solid pick for that. You saw just how he curved it too. Phoenix is one of the most flexible arms in this game, having not one, not two, but eight directions that you are able to aim it in. And those can all lead to very different interactions. You can see if you end, aim it downwards, it can actually, it will do it lower sweep, which means that it's much easier than a lot of other arms to be able to snipe Bark down and make sure that Bark stays down. One of the big challenges though is the fact that Bark it comes back every five seconds. So you knock him down once and he'll just be up in the blink of an eye and you have to take him out again. So if you're not keeping up your pressure, it has been hammering Bark down though. That dog has not had its day quite yet. Griff is camping up though on Bark very nicely. Does manage to slip off. Landfrog punishes him hit and Bark in the same sweep for it. Now Landfrog is back on the defensive though. Griff is not letting him in. And again, Bark's down instantly. Landfrog's accuracy is insane. It takes really good timing to be able to contest with a good bite and Bark player hopping on Bark like that. But Landfrog is doing it so flawlessly. <laughs> He is getting knocked into critical though. Both players do have a KO potential with their rush. Seven seconds left on the clock. Griff just goes for shield. Zionfrog's only option would be grab, and that's not gonna be enough here. And you see Griff just gonna safely dodge out of the way, not even gonna leave himself open to the grab. It gives Griff a very safe first point. Alright, gonna be changing over to a double toaster on Griff's side. Doesn't want to have to deal with potentially getting outboxed. But the boxing on Landfrog will be unstoppable. It's gonna chill Griff out very quickly. What? But things are heating back up as, as Griff lands that toaster twice. While Double Toaster is definitely a very solid pickup of a loadout choice, even for this matchup, can be really dangerous. Ninjara, with his movement speed, his quick teleports and dashes, is one of the best characters to counterpick, especially gloves. A good Ninjara can have a very easy time just dodging out of the way of all these pokes, all this pressure. And you're seeing a lot of that with Landfrog, who's just diving and dodging every which way, and is just keeping this pressure on Griff with nary hesitation or any concern for these two to three toasters coming at him. And Fog hits Griff down, gonna stay on the approach right now. Gonna be adapting Griff's side to side move very well though in a way that very few players can. I love you. He's buffering shield a lot of the time too, so the very first friend he can teleport out of the way, he will but not be able to teleport around that one. Griff gonna get the grab. Established dominance here on Bark. Landfrog goes to the rush. Griff though slips off of Bark and is able to hold his shield up just in time. An excellent catch and Landfrog trying to dodge out of the way of this rush. Manages to stay safe and Bark saves his master, but not from that grab. Griff backed into the corner right now. Landfrog will not let him get up off the wall. For once it's Bite and Bark that's in the police lineup. But Landfrog has a little bit of health left. He could bring something out of this. But Griff is not going to let him. Reading his side-to-side -side movement, following along with him. And that is going to be game one. Griff taking the first point and setting momentum ahead. All mark, all might. Alright, let's see. Any changes by Griff? I don't know if Griff's going to go B and B again. Honestly. That might have been a little bit than he liked. I can see it. I'm gonna see it. Okay. We're gonna see it. Oh, on Ramen Bowl. This could be really interesting if Griff goes up to the top of the, um, of Landfrog stay in the bowl for a good while. Griff right, gonna be start. Are we getting double forks. Hydras? We are getting a barrage of Hydra bolts. That's gonna be super scary as there are just three projectiles from each arm coming out at Landfrog at any given time. Those are three different bolts that can connect the Land Frog, each one capable of doing a pretty heavy amount of damage each. You can see Griff is just walling him out. Jumps are super risky now compared to those toasters, where if Land Frog tries to jump over any of these, he's gonna get sniped just like we saw there. Yeah, but that's, that didn't come from Griff, that one came straight from Bark's Moth. 
for a grab right there, but Land Throw using the elevation dash right under him. In this situation, I think it's honestly kind of imperative that Land Throw holds the low ground, so he's able to get right below uh, this shot with the Hydro Balloon Bounce. On yeah. Dark, me. And then he can just start punching up towards him, and Griff wouldn't be. But I think Griff might have recognized that because he is not going for the dog at all. Chilla's definitely, with their verticality adjustment that they have, can definitely work out really well for that. We do have some awkward high ground in this situation, but definitely can work out well for to Lion Frog's favor. As we're seeing right now, he's just starting to get some good reads, some good punishes, trying to bring things back, but Griff still has 66% of his health left, like a full two-thirds, where Lion Frog cannot take a single hit more. He ought to straight hit from Bark. Ooh, Griff is working Landfrog back out of the bowl while staying in a good position, but Landfrog has started the... It is he going to be able to avoid this? He's just going to go for the rush into the shield right there to get anything out of his own rush. There's not a lot... And I... Yeah, nothing Landfrog really could have done about that one once he committed to his air. That rush play just... You know he was worried about what Griff had in store once Griff threw out that rush, and he, just, he wanted to punish it, he wanted an answer, but he threw out that rush, and Griff just continued to hold shield and was able to safely withstand, like, everything. Now Landfrog's gonna be going up against these double scullies, and this is scary for a whole different reason. If you thought you couldn't jump before, you can't approach this time. Landfrog's best approach option, honestly, is just gonna be holding his shield. And Griff is gonna catch on to that. Landfrog is gonna be able to avoid most of this rush. That's very hard for Ninjara. Only 125, though. That's a pretty good trade for Ninjara. Definitely a lot safer than the alternatives that he could have taken, which is just so much more damage to his life meter. But Griff is still just safely dodging and moving between these shots and just continuing to fire little bullets to Scullies and just constantly chipping away at that health pool. Each one so safe. Landfrog really struggling oh to find just that sweet moment, that sweet time to be oh. able to get the punish. Finally finds it and gets 260 damage. Yeah, he barely skirted around those uh, Scullies. They were on either side of him and Porch Presence was moving over him, but he was able to make it only needs a few more hits to potentially take Griff with him. This rush is coming up very soon, though, and we saw how hard of a time Landfrog had avoiding that last one. At this distance, though, it'll be hard for Griff to land, and he adjusts accordingly. Griff just trying to go for every nice opportunity. He thinks he sees it, but oh! Landfrog tries to parry through. There's too much rush going on. And Landfrog now on that final bit. Timer again ticking down. Landfrog cannot find his way in as Bark once more saves his master from an unfortunate face. Oh, and Ninjara getting taken down by that skull once more. They're now 2 0 for Griff. But if Landfrog uh, just keeps making these adaptations, I think he'll be able to get around it. Forcing Griff onto a Scully means that you've been doing very well so far. I can definitely see him starting to figure out this puzzle. He's he's slowly piecing things together, making better calls, starting to recognize when and where it's safer to approach. It's still a very difficult matchup for him right now, but I can see him turning things around. Yeah, he, he's definitely been scouring every bit of the table of the of the game that he can to find the right piece. And he's, he's slowly getting there. I think if he's able to take one round here, then he should be able to have the momentum to keep going. I think one round being won by Landfrog, it signifies that he's figured it out. That would be a rough and unfortunate fate for poor Griff, though, who had not only once, but imagine twice getting reverse swept out of brackets. Is that a... Yeah, this is a completely different set here by Griff. The Scully. He's gonna bring one of them to the table, the other one will be the Ice Dragon. And I think that's really cool, but play by Griff right and just like start raining laser grids down, Landfrog will have such a hard time adjusting. Landfrog finally going to choose to go in with that Guardian. We'll have to see how it really turns out. He's got a Boomerang alongside, which means that he's, he's got some really interesting options, but it might be really difficult for him to line up those shots and to be able to secure any serious damage, especially with Griff just staying so mobile, such a difficult target to catch. And he's just allowing... He's just getting punished so many times for it, as Griff just constantly throwing out these quick scully pokes while that Guardian is out, and Landfrog's investment leaving him vulnerable. Landfrog is doing very well. 
multiple times to not just to keep himself safe, but to like use the fact that you stop in midair for a second to float over some dragon lasers. We've seen that twice now, and that guardian is also being very helpful at stopping the lasers when opportune. The guardian's gonna approach on Bark. Will he be able to use it to knock him down? Not quite. Just runs out of range. We're trying to just poke that guardian down, but. Struggling with a few of these shots, Lamprog just keeping enough range to make sure that that Guardian is working well. But now Lamprog just struggling to find the timing to catch Grip as he's just been bouncing on that dog for a solid 10, 20 seconds. Out comes the rush. The Guardian not going to be out in time, and that means that Grip is going to be able to take the round. Oh, Lamprog though, putting up a good contesting. 10 seconds is enough to do this, I think, if he gets a win. And oh, if he, he got the charged Guardian, Guardian, that would be it, but oh, the Scully man. is gonna say nay to that. And Grip, match point, looking for one win to be able to advance. Landfrog need to have to bring a full reverse from here to be able to turn the tides and take this back. Lanfrog pushed back to the back corner, but Grip is staying on the wall here. Lanfrog looking for some approach that he has. Gets hit by the dragon, not able to shield in time. Finally gets the dog down, but a Scully's gonna break his grab and punish him hard. Oh, another bark down. Lanfrog continuing to try to close in this distance, just struggling to find when he can go for the grabs. Grip just doing an excellent job of just punishing every time Lanfrog finally finds the chance to throw out the grab. And then he's just oh, throwing oh, in. Oh my gosh! Excellent moment to be able to just keep the poke and make sure Lamprog has to keep up with this turret of bullet punches. A nice catch from Lamprog though, as previously noted. And he's out going to end up landing some light damage from that rush, whipping a lot of the damage overall though. Now we're in a very similar position to what we saw before. Griff on one end, Lamprog trying to use that air grip into doing something. But anytime it gets close to him, he doesn't overcommit to dash to get out of the way and try to get a punish. He just shields and lets Bark do the work for him. Does mess up a Bark that, uh, jump though. And that's gonna... Lamprog with a sizable health advantage right now. Using that Guardian to punish Grip. And the Bark is down once again. The dog just cannot catch a break. Lamprog starting to mix things up a lot too. You're noticing he's going for a lot more shield cancels, quickly dropping that shield, retracting it back under his control much more quickly than it would if he throws it out aggressively. Griff gonna be able to throw out the rush, but the Guardian steals it away. And this this might be it. This might be Grip Lanfrog's chance to start turning the tides as he claims a point and brings the score to 1-1. This could be where the dog finally loses his day. Griff has been showing excellent BNB prowess. It could all come crumbling down here. Landfuck gonna start off with a pineapple grab. But, but Griff with the double sprint. Oh, good couple of hits right there by Griff to the ground and allow Griff. This is a scary position for Landfrog. We've seen him here a lot of times and with no place on the uh, the dip on ramen bowl to retreat to. He's just dealing with strict. Griff oh. falls off Bark, but not before he's able to get his shield back up. Nothing happening to Griff. Landfrog still in an unfavorable position. Landfrog keeps trying to go for these grabs and catches, but right now his timing is just really not working out for him as he's constantly catching Bark as that deflect is coming out and he's getting punished for it time and time again. This double skull is just causing him so much trouble and Griff right now holding onto a monumental lead. Yeah, as much as I know people want to see the advent of uh, Reverse Sweep 2 Charged Guardian Boogaloo, it's looking very unlikely as Landfrog's bunch of poison damage go down to Magic Pixel. Griff still on the first bar of his life, and a Scully right over the Guardian will take this for, for Griff. Griff not even wanting to get, take a gander at the chance of getting knocked out there. Put that dragon away, recognizing that it was slowing things down maybe just a hair too much. And with that, he's going to be able to safely snipe down Landfrog with the double Scully beam of doom. And will be advancing in brackets, now awaiting his next opponent. Let's see, if we, do we have any update on that? Um... Uh, looks no, like, no matches have finished up. Oh, Gore has finished up. Looks like he was able to take Hess down 3-0. Uh, we do have 1-1 on Goof versus JM Canada. Astro and Resolve are currently duking it out. Uh, looks like Landfrog will be facing, or Griff will be facing off against either Astro or Resolve. And then either Goof or Jam Canada will be moving on to the lower bracket to face off against their foe. Just 
gonna give a heads up on things. Alright, let's see. Uh can't figure out what the score is right now. Yeah, I haven't seen any GGs flying around. No idea. No, they're they're all too locked into combat right here. Yeah, lots of. Oh god, so there's just a lot of dominating forces that are still around. Unfortunate for Hess, not able to keep up. Ends up getting knocked out 3-0. Both of our lower brackets look like they were 3-0 sweeps. Yeah, which is great. Is he considered like the cream of the crop players to quote Macho Man Randy Savage? This it, it's we're really down to the wire now. Only how many six players remain at this point? This is and it's gonna get narrowed down very soon to oh, just yeah. four. I, yeah, I, these are these are everyone who is like here now was a favorite to win this tournament. There's not a single player here that doesn't deserve their spot. I mean, there wasn't before, but now it's even more solidified. And I think I know which one we're going to have to go to next. Uh, we'll leave Griff to do his next battle off stream. So we're going to be going over to L4, which we'll get things ready once we have our results. Until then, Hama, do you want to go around? You know what? Might as well. I know exactly for the boys. Are, are we go are we gonna go all guardians? We could go all guardians. All guardians. Oh, why would I use? I mean parabolas. Slow, I'm... Why would I use that slow electric arm when I could use my slow electric arm? My bad. I meant I meant parabola. God, the way the way Yabuki intended. Yes, he definitely intended for this. Update on some of the the higher bracket. Uh, JM Canada advantage two one against Goof. And I think Astro just took a, a result, which means that we started this at the very worst second possible. <laughs> I mean, you could you could disconnect. I gotta I gotta hit me a grab first. I gotta dunk me some mummies. Let me. I'm just gonna I'm gonna let you pummel me down because I. Ooh, okay. Wait. Well, no, Goof and JM are going to be that one, so I'll, I'll just keep fighting. I'll lose the round, but that one we're not streaming. Resolve versus Griff, we're going to leave. We'll hit up the oh, other yeah. one just to keep pattern. Alright, now it's time for the comeback. Red Mummy is the fastest Mumford, so I'm going to have to utilize that speed to outwit, out-strategize. Uh, but my brain doesn't have a strategy. How can you? When you, when even I have no idea what I'm doing. I'm. Oh gosh. Oh lordy Jesus. Oh, into the grinder with me. Into the grinder with me. No! Yes. <laughs> no. I can't lose. This is for Paul. Mine is also for Paul. Paul wins either way. It's more for Paul. No, oh, there we go, there we go. No, I'm Dirty Dan. You, Ooh, you. Oh, I just rolled into a wall, and that's like the worst thing you could do in this game. <laughs> there we go. All right, let's see. Yeah, so we're we're gonna be waiting for a little bit longer. Yes, and I believe, Malib, this is the last match that will be casual arms, right? That is correct. After this, we will be rotating between each other on the casual arms side, and we'll just send the love over to them. Oh, Land Landfrog Land wants it. You want some? You want some? You, you go want in. Some, boy? Go get him. Go get him, boy. I. Land Frog, let's determine which of us is the real Dirty Dan. I just realized. Resolve. Oh, do should we do Resolve and Grip first, or should we oh. actually do that one? Do you, do you realize what Wait, that one is? That's the rematch, that's the rematch, that's the rematch from, the from the last NA Online. 
Do we do that one? I think we gotta do that one. We have to do that one. Yeah, this is turning to Griff's screen, by the way, guys. <laughs> oh, there we go. Okay, so I'm just gonna... I'm gonna slip out of this lobby. I'm gonna make a new one. Okay. So we're gonna go over to the big, the big match from oh, no. way back in the day. Did you get disconnected? Uh, no, I'm still in. Okay. <laughs> Land Landfrog and I just used the same rush at the exact same frame. I really wish people could have seen that. I need to get this going though. This is so much real. So anybody who remembers the last NA Online might remember these two names. They might seem just a hair's familiar. Call me beefy. Oh my gosh. Wait, I just realized. No, don't call me a cow. <laughs> and we are going to have ourselves the most epicest of rematches. One of these two are going to have to be knocked out to stay in this tournament. Unlike last time, this isn't grand finals. This is actually quite low on the bracket. Whoever gets lost, whoever takes the loss here, will be will be gone. Will be finito. Resolve against Gore or Griff. Again, again, two people that I love. I Me, mean, I don't think I have Resolve in here. Oh man, that was so good right there, Landcoin. Oh, but I'm better! Call me a Wendy's Patty, cause I'm beefy! Oh, buddy boy! Buddy boy! Mamma mia! Yeah, no, this this is this is too important. This is like seven seven layer dip important. So many layers of importance going on here with resolve and grip. This is like I get to commentate this match now. Is it, is it the same code, Malif? Yeah, it should be. Oh, maybe I forgot what the code was then. Re. Uh. Where did you put the code at? Uh, here, I'll just DM it to you again. Yay, thank you, I'm dumb. No, wait, that's not the right code. That's the right code. It might be different from what it used to be. I don't know. Okay, here we go. I'm in. Hacker voice, I'm in. Alright. We're ready. We're ready. Just waiting for result. Our, the, the, the Lord Resolve to step into the ring. Oh, Resolve might not have any of us added. I'm gonna have to wait for a little bit to make friends. There he is. Oh, here we go. We got here it. We got it. Christmas has been saved. Resolve is in the rain. We have ourselves a rematch from the Arms NA Online. I. Is Griff gonna- Griff's definitely not gonna go the coil this time. No, he's- uh, he's gonna be going in with the Masango. Regardless, this is, this is- This is- this is- this is the beans. We've got Toaster Roaster Nate on Resolve. We've just got good gloves all about as Griff is going to be going in with the Scully. We've got Scully, Chilla, and then Slapamander. We've got like- if, if you were to tell me, like, hey, what's the best, what's the top five gloves that you could think of, and Scully was in that list, we've got them. We've got them all. We've got Toaster, we've got Roaster, we've got Nate, Chilla, Scully, all five of them, plus a good old Hot Slaps, because I'm going in with the Toaster and Roaster, the old Toasty Roasty, we're going in Chilla, Scully. Yeah, that's a very interesting set there, Resolve is rocking. Being uh, able to use both the Toaster and the Roaster provides kind of the best of both worlds and makes up for the flaws that both of them have. Roaster very defensively played, and Toaster being slower aggressively. Resolve, though, not caring about either. He's forcing Griff behind the pillar right now, but again, that's where Griff thrives. We've seen him do wonders here on DNA Lab today. Or his home. Griff gonna have to advance it on him if he wants to make anything happen. Resolve does not want that pillar broken. Ooh, Resolve gets his arm clipped right there. 
taking the full on bodily damage. Resolved now is breaking down that pillar. Griff gets the final blow on it. Both of them have run. Pretty considerable health lead. Gonna try to take Griff down and out of it. But the pillars and the shields will come up just in the nick of time. Griff with the red, the yellow mask. Resolved tries to go for a punish, but forgot that Griff is totally invincible. Griff still very vulnerable, though cannot take that much more damage. Any more damage at this point, and with 10 seconds left on the clock, there's very little Griff can do. We all take these pillars out, and you see Resolve wanting to just hide behind them. <laughs> just, just, just... Honestly, optimal. Honestly, flawless. That's actually what Griff kind of needed to happen. Why? Right, he's all switching off the toaster, gonna go for the double roasters. Just wants a little bit more speed and a little bit less defensive play right here. And I think that's fine. Griff very rarely goes on the offensive. So I, th I think it's great for Resolve's playstyle right here. Yeah, this is also gonna mean he has a lot more aim, a lot more control over where he wants those things to go. And whenever they impact, it's just a little bit more damage going in for him at 140 instead of 130. Yeah, Resolve needs to get this yellow mask off of Griff right now. While he's got this up, Resolve really can't go for a rush. Griff tries to go for his a little prematurely, but Resolve is just going to hold his shield. Arn's very low on health right now, but it doesn't really matter if you're just going to deflect everything coming your way anyways. Griff going to hold on to this yellow mask, maybe just not comfortable finding the chance to bring it out. Finally finds that chance. He did get a lot of rush charged up out of that, though. Just safely boxing down Resolve's attacks. And he's just about oh, halfway ready. And play? the rush punish! And on comes the full mask. That's quickly going to get knocked right out of him, though with a solid roaster connection. God, Griff is really embodying the spirit of JM Canada right now. His friend lives on through his spirit. Or Resolve is summoning the spirit of his ancestors right now. Got the, all the other Springman for the comeback kid mode. Griff doesn't have to approach this though if he doesn't really want to. He's content just taking some long distance slaps. Gets a little bit too close and takes a little bit too much heat in the kitchen. Gonna just use that pillar to keep Resolve around him. Oh, a nice oh, catch! Griff still, I think, has just a little bit of a health Yeah. Lead. Plus, he the Rush will be able to keep him safe here. Resolve cannot commit to anything too dangerous. Tries to commit to that grab, and Griff just presses the funny yellow button, ending Resolve's life. Right. Griff sticking with the same set. Resolve gonna switch back over to one of the toasters. Keeps himself just a little bit more defensive. And that has been kind of what uh, Resolve's motif has been throughout this entire tournament, is play. That's really where he's been shining, and the fact that Griff is being able to challenge that when Griff is traditionally known as the more defensive player, is really speaking word about how good Griff is at this game. Heading into this round, Resolve oh, currently holding onto a very light lead, but it's gonna get quickly dashed away as he drops that deflect, Griff lands the grab, Balances out that health difference. Both players still very close to each other. Neither one really having too much control as Griff slowly builds up more rush, more charge, and more options to play. So far, though, Griff has really not been able to challenge Resolve's charging spin. Like, oh! Be able to swing momentum. They're getting the yellow mask up at the same time as the rush. And now he's got Resolve. Tries to go for a grab right there, but positioned himself accordingly so he would not get hit. This dog tries to jump in on his landing though for 345. Griff now in the lead, getting a lot of rush uh, over time. Just continuing to keep this tempo. Yellow Mask is super risky because it not only slows down the Sango, but it makes his grabs do less damage and just reduces his curse size just by one. But you gain so much out of it too by being able to have that rush gain just quickly build up and he's not gonna ha be able to use it in time though five seconds left on the clock you know resolve is trying to get damage off of those grabs and griff is just gonna tell him no that's not only summoning jm canada but neo in that instance matrix is his way through everything resolved through adam able to take game one <laughs> oh He's downloaded Kung Fu! That's insane! On that note, I do want to make a reminder for anybody who might be interested. Uh, one of the fellow members of the ARMS community in Japan, Ku, is actually streaming this ARMS tournament as well right now. Uh, there's a link to him right there. If you want some Japanese commentary for this match, you can just kind of follow up and check him out there. 
definitely a wonderful individual. Has been with the community for a long time. Much love to him. Oh, back on DNA Lab. What is Griff's luck with getting this stage twice in a row when he's up? This is the most... Griff is not only the, some people's uh, favorite to win, but apparently the stage list's favorite as well. He, he, he's be... just attracted to the... To the, to, to the lab, and I you cannot blame the man, it works out so well for him. We do have a nice counter pick arm going in on Resolve, though. We've got a Hydra, which is going to be a lot better, especially with that red mask, catching out Griff's hops. If he's got that armor on, or just in a lot of exchanges, it can do a much better job of sniping down Griff. We saw this earlier in the Parabola bracket, where Resolve felt like he couldn't really distance people out with his boxing. So he switched over to this to get himself a little bit wider of a spread. Griff, though, using this blue mask excellently. Hydra being a little bit slower of, on, the, on the side of the light arm. He really, at this distance, should not be getting hit by it. Resolve has been... Is the Hydra off the pillar? One pillar... Intent with all of them going down if it means he's getting easier to play. Yeah, that would actually be a very smart play. I know... A lot of people don't consider that, but when you go into a stage with pillars, especially if you recognize that you are disadvantaged, sometimes the smart play is just to choose to hide behind, wait things out, and try to break those pillars just to make sure your opponent does not have them as an option, as an advantage. The resolve definitely trying to make sure that since he does have that light health deficit, while he's punching down the pillars as he can, he's still going in for the chase and getting that damage. I think all of them are gone right now. Resolve barely- oh no, he's still just a little bit of a deficit. Griff gonna go for the rush oh. right here. Things are gonna get a little bit wider between. We're gonna 25 damage. Griff gonna get the blue mask and gonna be able to run out the clock if he so chooses to. Not getting a chance to go for Masango's storage right now though. That would turn the entire tide here if he's able to just hit those up. Smash to resolve one last. Rush is gonna be able to even things up right here. Griff just needs the full seconds. And with that, Griff gonna be able to time things out. Gets another point. This could be a 2-0 lead for Griff if he can just find a way to play things safe. We do have an open field. That's another different knock glove. I am not used to seeing this from Resolve. We've got a hopper on the field, an excellent win confirmed tool, and so good at just catching out a lot of those slight movements, those slight adjustments. We're seeing some really good use of it right now as Resolve just kind of bapping out, oh throwing God. out these little pokes <laughs> here and there. That rush from Griff was instantaneous. Not only the second he got his rush, but the second the yellow mask came on, he was ready to let that fly, trying to catch Resolve off guard. But guard's uh, will is sealed right now. He will not fall to such petty tricks. Getting Griff back into the corner. It's really interesting seeing this popper on Resolve, since that's usually an arm that Springy and falls prey to. The fact that he's adapted is into his own strength is super cool to see. That was a very nice dodge around the pillar too, just anticipating it and positioning himself perfectly to dance around. Griff not able to respond in time. We're gonna have a heavy rush as Griff locked in the corner, cannot dodge out of the way. And now Result gonna try to utilize this popper to zone Griff out, keep him at bay, and give Result a little bit more time to work with to build up another rush, potentially just secure himself a lead here. Oh, goes for right there, tries to catch Resolve's dash, but he somehow slipped out of the way. Ooh. Catches Chris a potential wake up right there with a nice little dash read. Goes for it again. Chris that time able to stay out of the way. Very soon though, Chris gonna want to force him to use it, but he just might not go with this advantage. He just made that yeah, makes him use it. Even though he loses the round, he wins that war. I mean, he hasn't lost the war, or he hasn't lost overall. There's still another round in here. And it looks like he's going to be going in with the double roasters. Now that everything is just open game, he doesn't want to make any risky plays. He's going to go back to the tried and true, wants to get a point with the roasters. Yeah, now that he's got more control over where his arms are going, thanks to the better maneuverability of the roasters, he's going to be able to keep doing these dash reads that he's been landing on Griff so consistently. Griff adapting his movement patterns, though, and his boxing patterns have changed up as well. A lot of straightforward manners being thrown out right there. And using those stairs to his advantage, too, being able to get up and down and around those uh, 
Roosters is paying massive dividends right there. Resolve holding his shield. We're gonna get his rush on this. No shield break on this side either. Uh, they're throwing on the yellow mask, looking to try to build up for some rush as quick as possible. But he is so cautious of those roasters, quickly recognizes the dangers of doing that, puts it away, and Resolve just continue to go on with this chase. Good hot slap though, gonna even out the health score. Out comes the rush. Griff gonna have a safe chance to bring out the shield. But an excellent counterplay from Resolve, recognizing that pillar punish attempt and Griff now lately in deficit and struggling to find his ground this this lab not working out for him as well as that first game did yeah resolve is really going up to Griff and saying you know I'm somewhat of a scientist myself he will not let him take his lab back Griff has the rush online right now there's enough time if he's able to get something really hype going but he's gonna have, have to watch out for resolve's rush building up in the meantime too 15 seconds on the clock not gonna get that yellow Oh, okay. second grab! It's so close on time! It's anybody's game! Griff and really that's gonna be it! it. Griff has it's the lead! He has to just up. not get hit by Resolve! Resolve tried to bring the distance! <laughs> and Griff just had all of the room to work with! There is no way ship damage is gonna work there! Griff oh now advantage 2 0! Griff how, Griff, how did you make that work? He's, he, that was probably the best grab play! Look. Spirit of JM Canada is in view Griff with so much power. And we're gonna see Sky Arena potentially finish this set off. Really stage for Springman sometimes. This yeah. might be the final bout for these two. If Griff can take Resolve out here, that will be it, and he will be advancing to top four. Resolve looking to make sure that that does not happen. We had a painfully close <laughs> match. He's just dominating now. Every single, uh, every single shot he's throwing out is landing. Resolve is really not able to deal with these skullies in the pit. And with Greg using the mask storage to fade in and out quickly, Resolve's not sure where to throw his punches at. He seems a little bamboozled by the bamboo warrior. Oh my gosh. This is crazy. Griff just continued to hold this control, gets pushed into that hot pocket, but finds enough room to be able to get a good punish. Rush. He's gonna dive in, but Resolve with an excellent punish play. He's got ground now. Griff out of blue mask means that Resolve has the chance to be able to start turning things around. And we've got 50 seconds left on the clock. There's more than enough time for Resolve to be able to make these plays. And that's definitely gonna be a good starter with an excellent grab. Almost lands a second one, but the Chilla gonna say nay to that. Now Griff has forced Resolve. Another 80 damage. 170 health. Griff just needs to land a grab as Red Mask to take this. Just a hit and a grab. Honestly, anything will do it. Try to back up with the Blue Mask Pillar. Resolve coming down into the pit to follow him. He knows that when Griff just camps in the, in the pit with the mask, he can't do anything about it. But that positioning led him astray. And Griff is on match point right now. Griff just looking for one final win. Resolve will not give up. He has the resolve to bring things back. He's gonna put that popper on and he's looking to get some damage going. Oh, Griff does get hit right there by a quick one, two dash read. Resolves, his aim is true. Both of them have rush right now. Griff just trying to freeze him. If he can freeze Resolve, then he can get back up a pillar from the platform. Otherwise, it's kind of risky business. Does force Resolve back though with his front flip. Resolve just having to respect the fact that those double chillas are much weightier, much more potent than his hopper and roaster, which means that Resolve is generally at the back heel trying to find his way in, trying to find a chance to get those deflects to play things out. He's gonna oh, not he be able to connect that in time as Griff's flurry able to outbeat his single roaster. <laughs> Griff's living on his dad's advice, always. And now he's gonna be getting an even better rush tool now with the yellow mask. It is gonna get hit out of him, but Resolve is coming up quickly. Resolve just continuing on with this chase, just trying to find oh. some little space, some little room. Griff has that has the health lead right now and is gonna have rush advantage, trying to find a chance to put on the yellow mask, oh. but he's gonna go for blue and ends up getting punished oh. yet again. This is Resolve's chance. This is his opportunity. He gets the lead. He gets the rush confirmed and he's gonna go for it. Quite gonna kill, but Griff is down to the very last sliver of his. He could bring this back, but it's gonna be a hard road to trip. 
Both players recognizing this is a good time to be building up Rush and Resolve gonna land. That final hit brings the score to 1-1. He is still in this. He has his chance. He has to be able to take this round too as this is still terminant point for Griff. Uh, Griff gonna ditch one of the gloves for the hot slap. This will put Resolve's deflex a little bit more. He's not gonna be able to use them as frequently or as potently as before. Getting a nice long range snipe right there, but still not able to reclaim his position on the platform. Able to switch things up though, Resolve tries to punish it, but Griff is having absolutely none of that funny business. Griff just doing these solid pokes time and time again. Resolve does hold the lead off of a couple of very decisive blows though, looking for a chance to throw out the rush. This is still arguably in Griff's favor, though I can see this going either way if it comes to a rush war. Griff finally finds a chance to throw on that mask. Who burns it? Griff resolved, fully aware he's going to be able to safely block things out, keeps himself in the fight. Still just above 50% health, throws out his, Griff punishes his as well. Neither player getting away with any damage from their rush. Okay, Resolve follows him back into the pit. This has not worked well for him. But he's making it work right now. Gets back up on the platform. Pushes Griff into the back wall. Despite losing the rush, he has not lost the will to win. He just needs to find a way in. Griff just trying to play things safe. Playing to try to take full advantage of Misango's advantage with that pillar. If he oh, can just time go. Resolve out here, and you can tell Griff wants that, he would be able to take this. I think chip damage would be enough Oh, nope, now it is fully in Griff's control. He's gonna go for the rush. Resolve knocked into a rage. He's gotta be able to make something work, but the Chilla is going to close things out. That was so bad. That was like the most nonchalant punch to finish things off with. Griff is gonna take the rematch of the 2018 North American Arms Open with just the most insane leading punch. Holy cow! Oh my goodness, guy! And oh, the crowd goes freaking wild! Oh. And with that, that does end my segment for the ARMS NA Online here. Uh, thank you again to everybody who dropped by and hanged out, Watch these epic matches. Much fun was had. Of course, you can always follow me at Planet Scrapstar on Twitter. Join my Discord. Uh, the link's right there. You can find Hama at Flohama on Twitter. Flo underscore Hama? Uh, it's just Flohama. Flohama. All one word. And with that, we are going to be moving things over to Casual Arms on Mixer. For the rest of these matches, me and Hama will still be around. We'll be doing some commentary. But you can catch me in a, probably a, a couple hours with probably some Party Crash. Maybe some more on top of that. But beyond that, follow that link, go support Casual Arms. They're a fantastic group of people, and they are currently running through the rest of the bracket with, let's see, where are they right now? I believe they are neck deep into their match of, oh wow, they got the winner side. So they're gonna actually be following up right from where we left off. All right, see you guys there in a bit. Ciao.